Now, I wanted to go here. Okay, if you were in the hot seat, let's go, everybody. If you were in the hot seat, Ooh. how would you conduct the interview? Uh, well, with David Shan. With Shan. And my, he was an asshole. Oh, I want this one. So, you know, all right, first thing I would have done. David Shan. Let's, let's redo, let's replay this interview I'll, right I'll now. do David Shan. You're Dave's no mercy. All right. Let's uh, go. <laughs> welcome to the Capital Games Podcast, where we have real conversations with real people in real time, 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 time. time, time, time. We have a very special guest, David Shan in the building. Clap it up, y'all. Clap it up, y'all. here man so Dave what's up man how you feeling how you feeling oh man just glad to be here man glad to be around this energy <laughs> Yo, you know what's fucking me up he's so excited to play David it's disgusting, it's disgusting. I got money on my mind I'm just trying to get some dough I ain't picking up my lot unless it's money on the phone gotta get it on the daily all I want is dubs you know what I'm on I've been chasing out the paper, all I know is broad money marathon. Capital Games. What up, though? Welcome back to another great episode of Capital Games Podcast. I am one of your hosts, DJ Bay, also known as the Prince of Hemp. We have my co-host here. Peter Parker, CEO of Digital Billionaire, Director of the Motherfucker Year. And if you don't know, this is where we have real conversations with real people in real time, 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 every time. I think um, I think we're going to switch it up today. You know, we just came from um, the podcast summit 2023. So we got our motherfucking quirky media producers in the building. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that is y'all. Yo, yo, yo. Chilling in the bathroom. <laughs> so... <laughs> I was just mind blown by wait, some wait, of that. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 out there networking. So we gonna skip thing. my man from LA? Like what I'm about doing? to say, I was just responding to his statement. <laughs> there, there, there's the other. So producer. what I'm, what I'm, what I'm guessing <laughs> I, I, is, what I'm quick. guessing is nobody learned anything. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> and back to bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> no, 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 no. I learned something, and that's the reason why that just went the way it went. Now back to our other producer. There we go. What's going you. on, everybody? It's your boy Brandon Mac. Uh, allegedly, I'm the super producer. That's what I've been called. Uh, about five times this whole week, so here we go. Hey, hey, I like it. He uh, he totally just made that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally I'm gonna need the receipts. No. I'm gonna need wow, the receipts. That's how you guys <laughs> yeah, I'm just making shit up he, on the fly. He said five times. Yeah, about five times this week. Say, so just a quick, quick, quick recap of shit, what Sunday and Monday for real, for real. Um, Sunday, I feel like for me, um, I feel like I, I got the most out of Sunday. So let's let the people really know what we're talking about. Let's really go into it. So you know, uh, Tanny, our producer, um, yeah. told us about the podcast summit. He, a couple of months uh, back, actually. Yeah, a couple of months back, he, he, you know, he he really put us on. He put me on um, David Shan and his movement, and I, I really because we knew we knew I'm fairly new to podcasting. Y'all been in it a lot longer than me. Yeah. And um, you know, as we got into David Shan and what he's got going on with his people, um, and his movement, I'm like, damn, this podcast and shit seems like it's uh fucking lucrative. Yeah, it's like really big. It's like, <laughs> You know, I'm like, damn. So when you said podcast summit, like, what the fuck is a podcast summit? Yeah, I don't even know. I'm ra- I'm barely know what a podcast is. You and know? it's like you're hearing the numbers, right? But at the same time, it's like you realize that we're really just at the beginning of it. 100. percent Because like the average person responds the same way you did. Like, oh, it's just a podcast. You know what I mean? Right. But you actually now that you're in it, it's like it feels like common knowledge. But man, right. it's just literally so just getting started. Fast forward. To I'm, a about, couple re- months. I'm about to say real quick though, so people who don't know, like literally, how many people did you come in contact who are having you know like five figure days? You know, we talking about pulling down twenty thousand a day, fifty thousand a day. These people pulling down a hundred thousand a month. There's actually some people who are pulling down a million a month. So it's like these are like at least I I can count at least well over 10 people who we came in contact who had these type of numbers just based on them being a podcaster. But yeah, and you know what's dope when we as soon as we got in there, right? Like you know, uh we're successful in our other uh chosen paths and our careers. Um but to see how many people are successful with just podcasting blew my fucking mind you you want to lie yeah. you want to know that what stood out to me 
was the people that's making those kind of numbers mm-hmm. wanting to get into podcasts and not knowing how to do it. Wow. You yeah, know what right. I mean? Okay. That 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 was a little bit more because, I mean, like, you you hear about people making money from podcasts. You, you, we've, we've been paying attention to David Shans for the past few months leading up to the podcast summit. But like I said, it, it, it's the amount of people who are who are watching David Shans, just like we are. They're soaking up this game and they're really interested in starting a podcast with the money. Just they don't have the know how. You know what I mean? Man. That that was that I came across a lot of people like in, in that space. It was shit. I want to say respectfully, it was a lot of people who were on stage who didn't have a, say, a particular set of know how. And um, speaking it, of that, <laughs> <laughs> what a segue! Uh, hot seat. So hot seat was a section in, in the podcast summit where Woo. they gave opportunities to the to the audience to come up stage and interview David Shan, and he didn't hold no punches. That was like good. he just right. he literally if you didn't if you didn't motivate him to speak, he was not going to over talk. This ad is brought to you by Capital Gains. Peace, everyone. It is the Prince of Hemp, DJ Bay, and I am here to give you good news. We have finally launched our mastermind. Go to DJBayMastermind.com and you can see all of our exclusive content from podcasts with Karis, One, Hakeem Green, and we have ebooks, education material, documents, anything that you need in order to increase your wealth in order so you know how you better scale your business model. Make sure you join today. Peace. So like, <laughs> I like that. So last time he was like, I'm done. He was like, no, nope, no, nope, it's over. Yeah, so like, can, I, can I try dog. again? No. I'm like, I don't like <laughs> him. I really no. like Dave, bro. Like the, the was like, him. <laughs> got to. How about, how about the kid though? The kid absolutely oh, the kid, killed the kid. Bro, this was, young kid, really he, could, he had to be no more than eight or nine years old. Yeah. He came up and asked Little the baby. best questions. What do you guys remember any of them? I think one of his questions was, uh, he said, who, who, who he said, how would you be? How do you want to be remembered? How do you want to be remembered? And who do you want to be remembered by? Yeah. That's very, deep very question. profound. I think it'll hit a button for that. That's yeah. simple, but yet profound. Can, can, can any of you guys answer that question? Mm. Like right now, like, 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 like off the yeah. fly. If you got yeah, asked that sure. question, like who, who do you want to be remembered as and by? You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. I know for sure I can because I work every day in order to build my legacy. And that's the reason why, like, I, I lean heavily into education like all all of my peers, all of my if they call themselves students of mine, you know, like I feel like I like for everybody to feel like we're on an equal level. I don't want people to put me on a pedestal like that's the easiest way to get crucified. But in, even in that aspect, when I say that, I want people to feel like even with all of the great things I've been able to achieve in this short amount of time, like I'm still same as you. You could do the same thing. So like being remembered in that light. And being able to help all these people achieve, you know, wealth and transgenerational transgenerational wealth and help their children and stuff like that. I want to be able to have that type of legacy. And I want my children to be able to look back and like, yo, my father was a really great man. And he impacted a lot of lives, including ours. That's a good Give me a round of applause. What about you? I think, um, you know, in, in the short of it, you know, uh, besides being uh, a legendary director telling stories, I think I just I want to be known as a um, a mindset shifter. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I want to just be I want to be known for he changed the hearts and minds of people that were lost and what they were doing. You know, like we come from the struggle, we come from the streets, right? And all these young kids, they 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 idolize you know the drug dealers and and the rappers and that lifestyle. But we can live that same lifestyle, have the same clothes, the jewelry, the money, the girls, whatever, whatever that you want and consider it to successful. Off book shit, you know, off, off, off bro, class off internet shit, trapping bro. from yeah. classes to courses to, you know, to all these things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to say, bro, the last time I dropped some bars, I had to be like 16, dog. <laughs> like I've never really taken rap serious. I ain't gonna talk. I got three <laughs> mixtapes out, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> never I gotta talk. Wait, hear what's the name it. of one of your songs? I gotta, I gotta hear. What's the name of one of your tracks? What's the name? Yeah, of just give me a damn, title. What's the name? Uh, uh, damn, um, fly above the box. Fly above the box. Fly above the box was one. Of, that was my mixtape uh, cover uh, name, but I also had a song named you Fly Above the Box. Really was out here. And my name. My name. Was, okay. was, my, ma- my name was Big Jewels. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. Oh, wait, first of all, you speed past that. Like you didn't just name Jesus. <laughs> Yo, all, that's crazy. All right, all right. Uh, How did you wait before? <laughs> wait. This ad is brought to you by Capital Gains.
What's going on, y'all? It's directed here, Peter Parker, and my course, Guerrilla Filmmaker, is finally here. They said you need film school to become a successful director. They used to laugh at me when I carried a picture of my dream camera in my pocket. They talked about the way I dressed because I invested all my money in the camera equipment instead of clothes. And now, they call me Peter Parker, the director of the year. I know, I've been promising y'all for a long time now, year after year, but I've been working very hard on this course, perfecting it, so you guys get the most value out of it, right? I mean, listen, I've packed this with so many videos, so much content that you have to win, right? It's a must, must, must buy course. And if you get it right now, it's just half off. And let me tell you what's involved, right? It's like, if you first get your camera, and you're ready to start making money, I'm gonna show you how to make some money. This course is not just about technical skills, skills yeah, we're gonna get busy, we're gonna show you what cameras to buy and, and how to get the best quality out your camera, but it's really about increasing your income and 10 xing your company. Are you ready to take not only your vi videography skills to the next level, but actually make a company and actually start scaling your company to make more money? Gorilla Filmmaker is the course for you. I promise you, I've waited this long on purpose to give y'all the greatest course I could possibly give. So make sure y'all tap in, click the link in the bio, and join the Gorilla Filmmaker family. How did you how did you come up with that Wait, name? Not, he was oh, flying over the box. He you, was flying oh, over yes, the box. Before we go back to the summit, you mentioned no, that I'm shit. Like, you, like, let, let's not act like we didn't hear that David actually be rapping. <laughs> to yeah. right, I'm about to say, hey, he got a whole we got a whole music. <laughs> we, just heard we got a whole fucking label. We about to put out like <laughs> just podcast label. So how did you come up with that name? Please inform us. Really? Do you really need to know the background of how we <laughs> right. came up with Big Jules? Do you really need I'm to know this? Really interested Bro, first of all, it's very simple. I feel like everybody's in a box and I'm always flying above it. It's very simple. It's not no, like No, 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 no. <laughs> I meant I meant your name, not the album name. You really I, don't have to answer this question. This is one of those you don't. Big, big don't Jules. feel pressured. Don't feel pressure. Big Jules? I'm not big even Jules, saying it. That's big why. Jules. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, wait, did you? Uh, I, got, I got a question for you. Look. <laughs> did, you did, <laughs> did you go in the mirror? I was like, how much deeper can he get with this? You, no pun wait, intended. Wait, 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 Pete. Did you go in the mirror and repeat your name at least five times you know to what? yourself while you're looking at yourself I without smiling? I, 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 you, you know what? Like, okay, you know what? You know what? You ever go? You ever go in the mirror and? And you know, you go in the mirror probably after the shower, you're like, I got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Names of it's good, it's oh great for marketing, God. but it's like a PR nightmare though. Big <laughs> jewels in the building. Oh no! But why can't it be dropping jewels? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Y'all take it either, a different way. way. Wait, so wild. wait, 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 wait. So Pete, so Pete, so so an artist comes to you and he goes, you, what, what, what's your rap name? And he goes. Small jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you better off calling it lifting. No, I, I mean, you, what, what, what would you say to that? What you mean if a rapper came to me? Rapper came to me, small jewels. It sucks. <laughs> so, now, so, so looking back hindsight, somebody came to you and their, their rap name was Big Jewels. Have, knowing you haven't used it yet. Right. This is just you. You hearing it. This today, 22, 2023. What are you saying to that artist? My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You full of shit. You know you full of shit, right? You know you full of shit. Oh, God. Oh, nah, but look, look, look all right. let's get back to it. Enough of that. Doug. But look, but podcast summit was was fucking amazing. Um, what's some of the? I'm like, but wait, yeah, get I'm back like, to I'm the hot say, seat though. Yeah, uh, the hot seat. Yes, but shout out to everybody who collabed with us, bro. Because we actually we had a couple. We were able to actually get a couple podcasts in. Facts, 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 facts. A lot and of podcasts. Then, yeah. I have to get a shout out to. Brendan Boy, oh, God yeah. damn, work yeah, he's horse, man, man, for sure. Brendan is a beast. Bro, workhorse, bro. Yeah. He was in there podcast after podcast after podcast. 
like that boy was racking in content. Like he, he like bro, talk about taking advantage of an opportunity. And that is one thing I actually I had pointed some people. I'm like, yo, you need to go watch how bro moving, watch his cadence, look at how he's speaking, why how he conduct himself. You know what's crazy? I, I every time I walked by in different time periods, it was a new person he was interviewing. Bro, working workhorse. Yeah, bro. no, for sure. I'm telling you, he he just being able to see somebody move in that capacity, you be like, yo, um, <laughs> like how Alex Miller say, I ain't going hard enough, shit. <laughs> yeah, but you know what was dope, though? We had opportunity to either uh, do or not do. You know what I'm saying? Last night, we had the opportunity to interview, you know. Um, yeah, we could have been on, we could have been F boys and missed out on the opportunity. Right. And like been looking at a missed opportunity and also missed footage, missed content. And something that we possibly wouldn't have been able to. Are we get allowed to say that? Guess are we? Are we yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say yeah. It was TJ. Um, um, child support is fraud. You can um, shout out to TJ. Great episode. It was a really good. Episode. And you know the the crazy thing is I mentioned it because how we did it. We literally just had our phones. We didn't have our our normal setup. We wasn't prepared. You know what I'm saying? We had our phones. We had gorilla filmmaker. Gorilla filmmaker shit. We brought out the mics, a couple little wire, you know, wireless labs, and just and just got busy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I about just, to say, and shout out to Day. Can bro, mm, I'm about to say. the aesthetic though? The aesthetic. <laughs> the whole, the whole background for set up the whole set. Hey, and like, and when y'all see the episode, like we. Mind like, you, that when you see the episode, the set wasn't like that. I'm about to say, no. we just have to, like, we just have to, like, give honors where honors is due. Like, for sure. this is for sure collaborative effort. Like, our team is amazing. Tanny, he held it down. He was able to shoot in, like, late night and get the shit for done. Sure. And, and Brandon was getting some great sleep. To get ready. To get ready for the next day. I was going to no. leave him live, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let him cook. But you know, also oh, real shit though. No. To give Brandon's flowers, I will say the next day that motherfucker came in smoking because every time I was talking, every time I was moving, I see Brandon talking to a new motherfucker. Yo, Pete, this is this this person. I'm like, how you get the number two? I just got the number. Like, so he, so he definitely yeah, was the definitely, same contact. Definitely but even was still, like the even the way how um, the producers they were during the first day because it was so much going on and at the podcast summit they had split rooms. Right. Like they decided to break up and go into different rooms and be able to get content and also get the information so that we ourselves as a unit wasn't missing anything. And that right there is a definition of great fucking teamwork. Yeah. For sure. Round of applause for teamwork. Ah. So look, God. biggest, biggest takeaways, Ooh. no corny shit. I can't promise that. No, but generic, I can give you the no generic ass answer. Oh, All right, yeah, we're, gonna yeah, I like we're, 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 we're We're gonna start with Tanny then. Um, okay. I'm gonna say y'all don't want mine. Big Jewel in the building. All right, so. Oh, um, <laughs> now, my biggest takeaway was really simple but really profound. It was CJ, right? In the fact he was telling us the power of branding, right? The t the telling us the difference, right? For example, he compared McDonald's McCafe, which he said he actually prefers that coffee, right, to Starbucks coffee. Right. It's actually closer for him to get there right to that McDonald's to get right. the coffee but yet he still drives all the way to Starbucks which is further out for coffee he doesn't even like just because of the power of the brand he wants and to be seen thing. walking around with that cup wow you know what I mean it's something that simple but profound because McDonald's was associated with oh you're not doing so good in life exactly but Starbucks says oh man you're doing great in life exactly it's, it's and if lifestyle. you actually peel it back it's just what makes this better than this it's just the power of the brand it's the power of the brand. It was that. And I was just, when I heard that little That's example, a That's a great I was one. like, man. And also the emotion that is attached to the message along with the brand, whatever they are conveying at that time, that is the triggering component, being able to lean on people's emotions. That is something, else, that is a key takeaway from the same individual. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, I know branding is like one of those things that you just hear. Yeah, make sure, you know, get the brand strong, you know, build your brand, build your brand, but no one actually breaks down like, what the fuck does that actually mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, good branders, like, they understand the level of psychology. They understand human nature. Like, they understand what people like. They right. are, you have to be able to, like, lean in on multiple demographics to be a good brand. Remember the Apple commercial that he showed us? Right. Yeah. Had nothing to do with Apple. Oh. Just, like, the whole dancing scene and everything. There may have been an AirPod in one ear, the other one there. That I'm was gonna it, I'm going to be though. totally honest. I don't own a pair of AirPods. And after he showed that commercial, I literally was like, I'm going to give me a pair. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm a, do not get the one she had in her ear with the long stem. Do not get those. Said, don't get the do not get those ones. Don't get those. No, but I mean, but even that, it had, it had, it had everything to do with the, with the brand. You right. notice how in the video, when she put 
the 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 AirPod in her ear. Yeah. Everything else tuned out. Right. And she became part of the music that she was listening to. One hundred percent. That is what it's like when you listen to an Apple. Brandon I will say she only did put on one though, which wouldn't no, no, actually no, work that way. No, no, but no, no. I, I get had, what she, they were trying to do with it. She had on both. Ten years ago, she no, ran no. into somebody. She took no, off one, I think the message was somebody. she has one and he has one, so they were sharing the music together and dancing together. I think that was the message. Right, but it's the, about the, sharing the, it's, an experience. It's an experience. She's, she's getting That's an experience. That's what they were showing exactly. in the commercial. Exactly, it's about the experience that you get from purchasing this product. You feel like you're dancing. Corey, it's just it was you know amazing. You were it fucking move. Shut up. <laughs> I was like the commercial. I cried a little bit. My, biggest, uh, <laughs> my biggest takeaway from the podcast summit, not my biggest takeaway, but a big takeaway from the podcast summit. I, like I said, pay attention to what I just said. Not my biggest, but a big takeaway from the podcast summit is that um, people have bad business structures. They're gonna end up on a lot of taxes, and they podcast suck. Mm. That's it. Say it one more time. One more time. <laughs> People have bad business structures. Okay. They're going to end up owing a lot of taxes as they increase in volume and sales, and their podcasts actually suck. But what, what do you mean by their podcasts suck? What does that mean? What do you mean? It's like you added I'm, that on. No, those are two separate statements. Oh, no, I'm oh, saying. Okay. You saying people, what, what made people's podcasts well, suck? Not, in your not even, well, not even their podcasts, because I haven't viewed everybody's podcasts. Okay. The manner in which they articulate themselves and when, how they speak, the lack of infliction. Like, I don't want to listen to it. Not me. But um, it's a, like everybody got a voice. Everybody got an audience. To me, personally, that's Everybody just, don't have an audience. That shit sucks. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to say, some people, some people don't got no fucking audience. Say, you know, you know, some people, mama listen. Some people yeah, talking you know. to the wall. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's okay. Audience I mean, it's not. One. But, what? but it, like, I heard, um, I had to walk out on a couple things, bro. I just like, I just, I'm, I'm not going to sit through anything intolerable. Like, you, you know me, like, I'm not going to eat no bad food. It's just. <laughs> I, like, I'm just not going to so Now the podcast is bad food God damn No I'm just saying bro It's like I'm I, I I'm not going to support anything Like I'm not going to fake support I'm not It's not in me Like I, I don't dap up people I don't like sure. It's just so And I'm like For for the respect of business You know I always remain professional Because like I'm about <laughs> my bread But outside of that They shit suck it sucked. And like, I don't have to say that because people are part of a big, that I don't have to kiss booty because people are part of a big network or whatever because they've been able to do certain things. Like, no, like the manner in which they speak fucking sucks. And they, if they really want to take this shit serious, they need to take this criticism and work on that shit. That was I feel deep. Like we, uh, yeah, I feel like, like uh, I, I, very deep seated. I got, uh, I got a takeaway. Um, so we're not naming names here. We're just going to keep moving forward. <laughs> no, <I'm> just, yeah. <laughs> out of respect to the business, I'm not going to name no name. No, 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 no. My, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the biggest takeaway that I have um, is the consistency part. Uh, I'm just looking at some numbers right now, and it says Apple Podcast Library might have 2 million entries, but only 26 have a single episode. Almost two thirds have three or fewer episodes. Really? Yes. Shit. Is that so current? It's getting this worse. Is, this is, this that's is, current numbers. This is yeah. this is from 2021. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's it's a it's a little not. I w would you call that outdated I'm not information? Not it took off in the last couple of years, I'm though, right? Those not much different from the numbers that we heard at the summit. Right. So so okay. so Sheesh. the consistency part, the consistency portion is it, it, whether it's promoting on social media or, or even just putting the episode out because of people not getting the views that they want right off the bat, they automatically give up. But I mean, what we, we on capital gains? What are we talking about? Scaling your business and the time it takes that you need to allot yourself to scale your business. People don't understand that. Another takeaway leading into that, to piggyback off what I just said, is your podcast is a business, not a hobby. You know what I mean? Back. So that though, that's 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 what I got out of it. It's not a hobby. I don't know. Not if you want to. Hobbies are for suckers. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I've got you know what I've got mixed emotions about that, right? Hobbies because aren't, hobbies aren't meant to make money, bro. That's just you doing your spare time, like people who play Madden. Unless you really dope with that shit. Let me ask you a question. Can you can you afford a hobby right now? Can I afford can you a hobby? Afford a hobby. Oh, that's very subjective. Like, you want to make model trains right now? You think it's gonna be beneficial to your life? Give me your yes, hobbies. Yes, give me, it give can me hobbies. be. It can be. Hobbies. Yes, basketball. Madden. Play Madden. Play Madden is a hobby. Hobby, definitely. How much money do you get from playing Madden? Zero. Okay, how long? But, how much, how much have you? No, no, oh, no, 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 I got no, you. I got you. I want this. How much do you play Madden in a week? Uh, lately, probably about an hour or two. Okay, 
in that hour or two, mm-hmm. could you have been spent doing something way more productive? Hundred percent. Let me ask you this now. No, 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 no. no because no. you guys are very much hustle culture, which I respect. But there is also another side to it, right? What? When you're always go, 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 you don't give the same efficiency that you would if you did take a break. What? I will tell you. If you go a hundred, okay, there's no way, right? Bro, you can go a hundred like, miles yeah, an hour yeah, yeah, for fifteen what, hours straight, for, right, bro? You okay, hold fifteen on, hours man. straight, right? Take a power you power sleep. Power. Take when you nap. sleep, but, you break. <laughs> then you wake the fuck up and you go again. Take a power what do you nap. Mean? Take a power nap, bro. Wait, wait. So you're telling me you guys nap. have the same efficiency you have throughout the entire day. It doesn't drop off when you're going 100% the bro, whole time. Bro, bro what? That's the, crazy. Bro, hold on. Think hold about on. it. Do I, you I, see I don't know how much shit we get done. Oh, I don't know about you, bro. Cool. When, I shoot, when I shoot videos, I have 16 hour days, right? Okay. So if I'm having a 16 hour day, which is most days, yeah. I'm going in nonstop. Even, bro, my wife would tell you, like, she has to stop me and beg me, like, please, can we go on vacation? Can we do something else? Because yeah. I'm, I'm straight working because I love what I do. Agreed. So it don't feel like work to me because I love it. Let me ask you this thing. Could you be more efficient if you did take breaks? Fuck no. I, How do you know that? What do you mean? Shit, How do you know that? Breaks are for suckers. That's bro, crazy. You, That's that I'm hustle culture. You, no, no, I'm no, telling no. you. I, there's nothing wrong bro, with hustling, but I, there's something bro, wrong when you're just what? redlining every single bro, time. So first off, go get my book, um, Commandments of Commerce. <laughs> because like I said, somebody <laughs> help it. Hey, wait, you wait, wait, gonna wait, plug, wait, you wait, gonna wait, plug wait, it in. Remember that play we talk about? Your Honor, you go ahead and buy my Gorilla Filmmaker course after popping the dude. No, get it. Real shit, you gonna yo, be, you gonna go get, somebody be on the seven o'clock news. So no. buy my book. Oh, uh, yo, yo, all right. So we had this funny thing, right? So like, how fucking salespeople, how really salespeople work. Like my guy DJ here's is gonna drop it. So, it's, yeah, imagine you shoot. We had this crazy scenario where imagine you shoot somebody in, in self defense, and a news camera comes, and you're like, man, what happened? You're like, yeah, he came out to self defense. But by the way, link in my bio. Did you buy my new book? I'm like, that is who DJ, uh, he's yeah. going to sell that motherfucker. He's going to sell your honor. Gonna sell, do it, your honor. But look, there's, a link, there's a link in my bio, right? <laughs> hey, courtroom, listen, there's a link in my bio right here. Bro. I'll be happy to help. Buy my book, Why I Did It, right, right, right here, right, in the right. link below, he right does. here, Why I, I Did will, It. I will, I will write a book about <laughs> Why I Did It and explain it legally. No, but for real, for real. Go get that book, though. <laughs> <laughs> in that book. I make the statement that breaks are for bitches in cars. So Whoa. when you ask me if I'm taking a break, yeah. I just gave you the answer right there, bro. Because I ain't no bitch and I don't see. Have an see, that's started. what that's why I don't like right there, though. Because I feel like sometimes that can like, be the wrong message. If we work if ten straight fit, hours, goddamn, right? If the shoe fit, I, yeah. I'm like, but that's just not. Bro, me. if you make cookies and ice cream, yeah. I get it. Like that's cool. <laughs> but what I'm saying is why this, right? I'm just saying, why can't bro. Why cookies and ice cream? I mean, if you need a little massage on your toes and all, I get that. That's <laughs> hey, cool. Look, bro, and nothing with a little massage on your not, toes. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm just saying. Afro, bro. First of all, Big Jewel needs some TLC sometimes, okay? All right, so what y'all not going to do? <laughs> oh, he got me. He got me. But no, I'm just, I guess, I guess my point that I'm trying to make is if I work four and a half hours, right? Take yeah. 30 minute break, four and a half, 30. I guarantee I can get more done than the guy who works 10 hours straight. It depends. Okay. Because okay. of the efficiency okay, that I'm working at. Let's be serious. Tell yes. that shit to Brendan. No, no, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I mean, hold on, hold on, that's hold on, hold on. We just watched Let me ask you a question. Yeah. yeah. But the break doesn't necessarily have to be, I'm going to play Madden and totally. Oh, just, no, no, no. Totally just like, I think it just goes so off the focus. Now, granted, like, I'm not saying bro, you I'm can't not- do it. I'm just talking about my methods because I come from a place, bro. Unfortunately, I come from real poverty where a dollar fifty was my daily budget to eat. So I had to go to the Chinese store, get a dollar rice and the gravy, which was 50 cent. You get what I'm saying? And that was my meal for the day. So in order not to go back to that, there is no 30 minutes to play Madden. There is no time to do right. nothing else. Yeah. We got to go 10 hours straight. You're talking to the African, first of all, about a dollar fifty, which is a luxury. That is amazing. Thank you. Because for thirty cents a day. Um, but anyway, first of all, in, in the United States, thirty cents a day couldn't get you shit anymore. Like what? Thirty cents a there day. There ain't even twenty five cent hugs no more. The little, the little oh, drinks. Yeah, uh, that's not oh, even a bad. Remember the little drink, little twenty five cent yeah, drinks. Yeah, that, that, no, no. That the seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. You can't cent get up. a, you can't get a, a pack of gum. You can't get no Dorito. Remember the, remember Nobody, the ten, remember, 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 remember ten cent gum. Here, no and then they went up to twenty five. I forgot. It's like thirty three cent now. Thirty three cent now. Ten cent gum. Inflation's a motherfucker, ain't it? You gonna be stuck holding the change, homie? <laughs> go look for some so I'm just saying, like you, I think, bro, in the world mm-hmm. that we headed in, right, as far as you know, the economy, the U.S. dollar, all these things, right? Mm-hmm. 
I don't have the luxury to play games. Agreed. But I'm just saying there's something to be said about working smarter sometimes as opposed to just moving for the sake. I'm, because people can it's, confuse it's movement. It's for you, though. It's what works. No, no. I'm not saying it's because wrong or right. What I'm saying is I some people with, confuse I motion for movement. Until I'm crashing out of my office. P, I tell you, like, I tell you, like, bro, I fell asleep in the chair again, bro. I be in this type of uh, but why not just take a nap, recharge, no, right, and go harder? Tenny, tenny. You see tenny. what I'm saying? Like, all right, I got this. I got this. I got some setup. Some days when, when I call it, I'll take a nap the, what you I'm take call work. taking a break. Yeah, I might throw the TV on. Right, I have my desk. I have a station where my desk is in front of my TV. Okay, right, and I got my laptop. I'm working maybe on a website or whatever, working on something. The t one of the shows I want to watch is playing in the background. I'm simultaneously doing both. That's what I consider a break. Okay, I'm still getting work done. I'm getting a little bit of pleasure from the TV. You get what I'm saying? I could but take something's that as a break. still getting done. I can't just just sit there with popcorn and literally be watching a show and enjoyment right this second. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a luxury. And until you're in a space where you can afford luxury, mm. we shouldn't be taking breaks like that. In my opinion, I, I'm a little hardcore. No, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. I'm, I'm just saying there's a balance. That's all I'm saying. There's I a balance you. because you can definitely move a lot more efficient when you're rested. There are some times, right, where I'd work those 16 hour days. Yeah. Look at what I actually did. But there'll be times, right, I'll work maybe 10 hours. Right. But I'll rest. And the work that I'm doing in those hours, twice as efficient as when I was tired working. But what if you did the efficient work longer? Like, well, I mean, if I don't have the same energy level, you know what I mean? That's why I'm saying for rest to be able to replenish. Like, why is your like weak body? Yeah, bro, like what's wrong with you? Like, well, I'm saying at some point when you look at a screen for 16 bro. hours, you ain't going to be the same person you were. Bro. You need fresh eyes. That's why they call he's, it fresh eyes. some carrots, homie. You said carrots. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you need to go vegan. No, but I think, the, I think the balance is more so like, yo, let's let's go outside, get some vitamin D. Let's work out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's Let's do some healthy shit. Um, that's the balance to give because your brain has to is a muscle. We have to constantly feed our brain. So let's give our let's get maybe give the computer a break for our eyes. Mm -hmm. Let's go outside. Let's do some let's do some uh, promotion on Instagram. Let's get on uh, Instagram Live or TikTok. Yeah. Let's do some shit for our business. I like to say, and also to put it in retrospect, if for me it's more like a, a task oriented situation. You know, like if I got documents oh. to do, like if I'm doing some things for somebody's, you know, like somebody's case or something, or I'm helping somebody with trust, I'm going to bang out that whole document before I even think about doing anything else, have, bro. Have you guys ever heard of the Pomodoro te technique? The who? The Pomo who? Pomodoro. Never. No. Oh, it sounds like a dog. No, it's not. It sounds like <laughs> pasta. No, no, no. <laughs> Pomodoro? Uh, so what is it? It, it, it? So what it is, is identify a task or task that you need to complete. Set a timer for 25 minutes. Work on a task with no distractions. When the alarm sounds, take a five minute break. Repeat the mm, process. Hit a button. Time. Hit a button. No. Hit a button. Have you no. guys ever heard hit of a button for working smarter, not harder? <laughs> so I got put on. I got put onto that technique. I don't use it. Yeah, I'm like, but I got put on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a mini get shit. No, no, no. no. Um, I'm telling you, um, uh, I got put onto that technique. I want to say maybe about eight years ago. I was dealing with this uh, with this woman, and uh, she 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 told me about it and for the for the blood of fucking god blood of fuck jesus i couldn't remember it you know what i mean yeah well, i don't I was know like, what did he do to you <laughs> wow All right. hey brandon hold on but i just want to let you know that there's a clear difference between breaks and distractions yeah right 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 you get what i'm saying i think what tanny's talking about more is a distraction than well, it is a break because wait wait because i mentioned madden 100 percent. that's crazy no because first of all people that play video games for the, the, there's a cognitive function okay. to playing video games yeah, right so to say something is negative i think that's just oh, up to I the didn't person ever say it was negative you said it was a distraction as opposed to a break i is believe it, you so just madden said. is your break it could be, yes. So can walking or so can, so, I don't know, doing again, anything. This is kind of so a Madden, distraction. So now we Remember, de Madden in health culture. Like no, Madden's healthy. No, bro. Madden ah. can be good. Remember where we at, bro. No, no, I'm not saying you're, you're going to <laughs> get perfect health because you're playing Madden. That's no, not what I'm saying. No, 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 but I'm no, saying no, no. that could be a healthy break for you. Fuck all that. You know what? I, I, cha you know, I challenge us, right? Yeah. If we all, say we all get a crib, right, for a week. Yeah. I guarantee you I will outwork you. I guarantee ah, you. That's tough. While you're playing Madden, yeah. I'm probably gonna make a video to make me money while you're playing Madden, talking about you playing Madden. Oh no, no. I make videos too. Ask Brandon every single time I beat him. I have that on Instagram <laughs> too. I have that on the real talking about uh, <laughs> we outside again. Yeah, all that. That was a That was a <laughs> <sick. laughs> not true. Well, I'm still making videos. I'm false. making content. So, very false. Getting back to the summit, right? So you know, takeaways. We haven't finished the takeaways. 
it, oh, my takeaway, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we went through. You didn't do yours. It was didn't him, because you did yours last. Okay, yeah. It's okay. It's on you. Uh, damn, I had a. Uh, I guess one of the biggest, biggest takeaways for me is I learned that podcasting is a funnel to 20 extra company. Mm. Mm, explain that one. Okay. So when you think, when I first thought about podcasting, right, I was like, yo, we can make podcasts. We can get dope content from it, right? That was my, uh, I'll say excuse for, for going hard because I was like, yo, I'm going to get a bunch of content and just post it and it'll go along with my message of what I'm already putting out. But then I went to the summit and I'm listening to everybody talk and I'm realizing that it's really a business and I'm realizing that as long as your podcast ties into your business, you can funnel everything through it, meaning it relates, my podcast relates to my course, my course relates to my ebook, and it relates to my other offer, my private, then you create a community, and they're all following the podcast, and it and it all just flows together so well. It's like an ecosystem. 100%, and you're able to talk every single day, and podcasting, it's even practice for even in speaking, yeah. you know what I mean? Because we don't speak, in, like I don't, I don't speak enough, you know, so if I get on stage or I'm talking to the kids, you know, you're not as confident as you would be if you talked more, mm. at least for myself. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a public speaker. Um, I, I've talked to kids and I've, I've talked to people, but I'm more like a one on one type of guy, like with my clients um, and, and, a, and a boardroom full of people. Like I curse people out all the time in boardrooms. Yeah. But when it comes to like being on stage, um, it's something new. So podcasting is helping me even have develop my voice in that aspect. Kind of articulate your thoughts, kind of get a thought together, an idea. To the point which you were just saying, um, it is, it's imperative in podcasting for people to have a firm understanding of the direction that they're going in. And I feel like for, you know, like the brand development aspect, the one of the found one of the foundational key points that I did here when it comes to the subscriptions from Baby Girl, who when she was talking about the brand development and how you do everything, it is you. Everybody has the ability to become a top tier podcast. You just have to be able to expand your outreach, and that, you know that really comes through collaboration. Even those people that suck before, they, they have the potential to do that. No, that's if you don't suck. Because <laughs> oh no, he make a buried entry now. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm about to say. Are you, uh, you know, like you, I try and give them the benefit of the doubt. And <laughs> yeah, this take is it away. so horrible, guys. No, I'm just, you can't help you know, it. I'm, I'm, it's not in me to be anything other than what y'all be hearing, bro. Nah, <laughs> you know what it is? You know, some people's, some people's, I don't know if it was their energy levels or how they went about it, but I will say you can learn. How, no, they suck. Fuck. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> So, so, so is that a takeaway that most podcasts actually suck? Yes. And then, <laughs> oh, no, you know what? I'm not agreeing with this message, by the way. Even at I am this not. Point, right? It's statistically proven at this point. Most people aren't getting past one episode. Most people aren't getting past six episodes. Wait, wait, wait. Is that because episodes. it sucks or do they think they, they suck? Both. It's, that's not, it's not the case that they suck, though, because right. we can, you can have a, a great podcast show uh -huh. and just the right people didn't see it cause just because you don't have a fan base that you got to build that. Right. So that doesn't deem you sucking. Right. If you quit, you suck. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm not mad at that perspective because if you quitters are suckers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Even Homeboy that went up front, what was it, like 120 before you actually started to get some recognition? Um, what's that dude's name that um, interviewed with Charlemagne and all them? Who? I don't know if you guys were there for it. You're talking the dude with the dreads. Yeah, dude with the dreads. Young brother. No, he was no, no, a, no, little a little older. older. Um, he just did. He, he's just been everywhere lately. But it took I, I, him I, to I, get I into like a hundred and something. Instagram. I can. I, I pull up his name. So why you pull yeah. him up? I just want to say, um, salute to everybody that is being consistent, regardless of how you feel about your podcast, um, regardless of. If DJ thinks you suck or not, you know what I'm saying? I just, hey, if you can, sounds like a website. I know, but what I will say <laughs> about bro, hold on. What, what, I will, what I will say about bro is if you are consistent and you stay consistent, he going to respect you. You know what I'm saying? And not that you I say you need his respect, respect, but right. it's just about we respect consistency and going hard no matter what, because yeah. we, de we believe in you can, you can develop over time and I get better over time. People I don't like because they've done what they're supposed to do in business. Right. It's, this shit not personal. It's business to me. And I respect fucking winners. If you're going to do what it takes to win, I will respect that. And I will feel that you, I will hope you feel the same about and there's me. And there's no time frame on winning. You know what I'm saying? You can, you, you can win. There's people that win in their 50s, 60s. You know what I'm saying? There's no time frame on when you're going to win. It's just about you staying consistent, you going hard, and you having that passion 
to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? When people yeah. said they was on a 150th episode and they may only have, you know, not that many subscribers, it's like, all right, all you have to do is find your, you haven't found your fan base yet. Right. You get what I'm saying? You haven't found your audience. Because obviously, if you're able to make that much content and there's that much to talk about, <clears throat> either you need to just stop or actually put some money in the right place. Or maybe you need to collab more. That way you get, right. like, or organic collaborations is another good takeaway. Like being able to be on other people's podcasts in order to scale your brand without having to pay all of these media platforms in order to get outreach. Because so, and I think we knew that too, but outreach. it was like we saw the power of it. And I did that on purpose because that's one of my takeaways. Interrupt what? people all the time. Interrupt, 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 interrupt. That was a good The power of the interrupt. <clears throat> I like because that. it's more conversational when you interrupt people. Because sometimes like I'll right, catch it. You like, so look. Uh, no. <laughs> back to you, Tom. <laughs> but no, it really does make it feel like an actual conversation when you cut people off, you know, yeah. as opposed to let them finish a thought. Oh, but that's... Now I remember my high ass always smoking before this shit. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I almost I, lost it. How, <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he lost it, it. Lost he lost it again. No, he lost no, no, it. No, 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 no. Damn, y'all. Yeah, he lost it. He lost it again. First of all. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> No, but for real, never run out of questions though. That was oh, that, like oh. you know, that's the reason why I just did that for real because you have to be able to keep a consistent flow and you all be mindful of the audio. Those those, those negative spaces, Yo, be mindful. Capital gains honesty moment. Yo, mm. there was one episode we ran out of questions. No bullshit. That was early. Two. That was two. early. Two. It was early. It was early. It was very, very, very early. Two episodes. There were two episodes. Two episodes. I yes. kind of both of them. There was. There was. Because I remember the what silence and I was like, not? tell me, tell me, please. Wait, wait, wait P, P looked at, at DJ. DJ looked back at P and they were just like, so uh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And then I think one, one of the episodes, we kind of like freestyled it a little bit to the end. Yeah. But it just wasn't the same. No, but you know, to be honest though, like even knowing that, you guys, you guys got over that hump relatively quick. You know, when you right, talk about yeah. finding your voice, you guys found your fucking voice. Like right. oh, appreciate very, sure. very quickly. You know what I mean? So kudos to you guys. Hats off to you I, guys for I doing appreciate that. it. <laughs> if we can get an episode timestamp on that voice fine, please. Can we get that? Oh, I will. I, I I think I actually marked it too. I got you? you. I got That'd you. Yes. Funny. I'm gonna have it for bloopers. I, so I feel like in all honesty, it probably would have been like around three or four. Yeah, I'm yeah. Because it was early. I mean, very early. We had to early. we had to get it together early. Well, we, that's the we, thing. We, like we, when we you're thinking, when you're thinking the whole time, that's what really messes you up. Like you really have to be in the flow of the conversation. Like I have to basically treat like you just walk through the door and you're talking. You know what I mean? I'm not planning really questions ahead of time because when you plan questions and you say something that's here and I ask that question, it's like, what? Yeah, it breaks the whole flow. Also trying to keep up with the points that way that you can have a proper dialogue with people. Sometimes you will lose track of your thought. Like I have several times I smoke a lot of goddamn cannabis. Oh. But when oh, you don't say. The, but I'm really <laughs> good at not this see talking shit so you will just see me spin it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not just going to run dead space. But one thing that I have seen um, and we just talked about it, like we touched on it previously the other night, it is... It may be an underlying, an underlying power that people have not yet seen when it comes to podcasting, but this is going to help us to better communicate within our community because mm. it's teaching us to be respectful and mm. when people don't do that so we can properly respond and not just respond to respond, but listen and respond with intent to actually have a proper dialogue. You don't have to be like the loudest person in the room to get your point heard because all it's going to do is mess up the mics. Um, that shit that fly on podcasting. So this really forces people to have civil conversations to an extent. If you're going to have some real formal shit, and you know, like if you're going to have a, a, a sustainable brand that people are going to be able to actually be have palatable and listen to and something that you maybe to have brands come sponsor you and stuff like that, you got to be able to, you know, like, do it proper. And this is capital gains. So I'm going to give you a little tip, right? If you are actually in a position where you're asking questions, the number one tip to not run out of questions is to follow your curiosity. Get really curious. Get really curious about whatever he's talking about you will ne or she is talking about. You'll never run out of questions. Right. You got to be fully engaged. Yo, I, uh, this is this is like a good tip, but a bad tip. But don't be general. Remember, remember you saying don't be general. Like be, some dumb be, ass be, have intentions. Right. Like be your curious. intentions, you know. Also, you can have you can have some emergency, like some dangerous emergency questions in your back pocket. You Who's know, your like, favorite basketball What's your favorite coach? <laughs> <laughs> like, Kobe, Kobe or Shaq? <laughs> like, like who's your wildest <laughs> partner? You know, like you just like you just like the ones you pull out your back pocket when you know shit. 
shit going left. That way you never run out. You just you may need to stash them, but I don't want you to become dependent on those. Bro, I've tried to stash those life. though. It doesn't but work see, for me because I'll be in my head like I'll be like, what was it? I had it in this pocket. <laughs> Which pocket did I have? You know what I mean? <laughs> but see, also, you know, repetition, being consistent, you always, you know, in real time, 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 being able to, you know, make people understand your brand. 100%. And also, you then condition your brain to consistently say these things, smooth, fluid. What shocked you the most this weekend? Let me ask you guys. Let's How start with you, Pete. What shocked fuck, you the most? Damn, that this was shocked. Weekend? What has shocked me the most? Shocked me the most. I'm gonna be honest, and this is this is listen. This is what all do. Fuck, this is gonna respect. be so loud. Right like, no, 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 no with only a couple episodes out, how so far fucking ahead we are. Mm. Mm. Hit a button. Like, listen, like, you know, and I and I know, you know, we're kind of cheating because, like, I'm, like, the director of the year and I do my own content, but I'm just saying, I honestly... That shit was real I, strategic. You know, <laughs> he's like, Pete, Pete, like, Pete, 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 Pete we'll do a podcast? podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a podcast, bro. <laughs> nah, but if you... And also, real shit, like... When I'm going in there, right? I'm going in there with fucking podcast giants, people I, I'm starting to look up to in this space, right? And, and I, you know, I feel like I, I'm pretty dominant in my space. I feel like I am the best in my space. Uh, but when it comes to the podcast space, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I feel, I feel a little like, you know, I ain't gonna say imposter syndrome, but I walked in there very humble as a podcaster. Man. As Peter Parker, I got my chest out high. You know what I'm saying? You already see the digital billionaire was going on. Bing, but when it comes to podcasting, I'm very humble and I'm like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm here to learn. Don't act, I'm just here in the back to learn and I'm soaking up all this game. But then as we talk and we going along, we going along, I'm like, yo, what the fuck we doing all this shit times 10? <laughs> like we got, and then don't get me wrong, there's more shit we can add and there's yeah. more shit we can grow and all that, but we're like 80% there. A, a lot, right. A lot of the key components that they were, and then, you know, like the, when we sit down and people are going through the notes and stuff. You realize, like, oh, like, I don't have to write that. I got that. Like, we got that shit on lock. We got that on lock. We got that on lock. Okay, I could take this note. We got that on lock. We got that on lock. Tanny and them got that on lock. That's on lock. Yeah, no, so I I did, you know, and granted, that's not, and that's not to say that it's just one person, you know, doing all this. We were fortunate and blessed enough to leverage our that's why I said our our careers to, to come together. And this is important when it comes to podcasting, right? Everybody, uh, it's hard to find, um, people were saying it's hard to find people to help them, right? But I feel like you're just not using your leverage Mm. because whatever you can leverage in real life, like I'm a director, he does finance, you know, y'all do podcast. It's like, yo, how do we come together and leverage each other and build something? And that's how we, and and all we came together very shortly and I realized, wow, you form the right partnership and you really take off and you're already ahead of the game. That's what goes to say that it's never about a lack of resources. It's always a lack of resourcefulness in any situation that you're in. It's just the lack of not being able to use what you have. So when people, when I hear people complain, that's one of the things that turns me off the most. When they're like, man, I ain't got this like you do. It's just an automatic turn off because I'm yeah. like, I'm yeah, about, but I'm sure you have something around you. you Everyone has something say, around yeah, them. I'm about to say to that point of how we even got to this point, all of that shit started with a simple conversation we real we seen the value in what each what everybody had and we said can we work together and this is what came out of that shit hey can, can we go to story time real fast can i tell a story fast? Fast? okay yes all right so <clears throat> gather around <laughs> children gather <laughs> I, I around i said so, tanya you took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so so i just want to talk about you know like you said resourcefulness and people that have fucking excuses right okay i wanted to be a videographer i want to be a director so bad right i did not own a camera I went to school. I kept taking all the cameras to, to rent them. And the teacher said, Pete, I mean, the teacher's like, you can't take it out anymore, right? You can't take these cameras out anymore is what he told me. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's some hating ass shit. Like, what you mean I can't? So anyway, he has a personal beef with me because I was better than him already. Um, <laughs> so I was in college and I literally, only thing I owned of value was my car. My car cost me about $1,500. It was a Mountaineer. And I said, you know what? I'm going to have to make a decision. Either I'm going to be a guy driving around with no camera or I'm going to be a guy on the SEPTA bus, tr- public transit, with a camera. So I literally sold my camera. I mean, I sold my mm. car that week to get my first camera. 
with that first camera, I literally did a hundred music videos, no bullshit, that year. And then I got signed to uh wide receiver Deshaun Jackson that played for the wide uh that played for uh Eagles, the yeah. uh the Philadelphia Eagles at the time. Um and and man, when I tell you things started going and going and going, and I used my camera to do it, but I had to sell my car and make that sacrifice. So when people say that they don't have it or I wish I had what you had, what are you willing to sacrifice to get it? Mm, give him a hit a button hit a button yeah, 100%, yeah. i think we just get really complacent or just really comfortable being in the situation that we're in so it's just so much easier to point at outside factors as opposed to just looking and saying did i really try everything like you had the car there most people would be like no nah, i'm not gonna walk around or i'm not gonna go on the bus like that pride gets in the way even people that work nine to fives i know we talk a lot of shit but Yo, if you working a nine to five, it's so like David Shan said, it's so much different working a nine to five with purpose and with motive than it is just aimlessly working a nine to five to just pay bills. Mm. You know what I mean? Whether you're taking ten percent, twenty percent of your check and putting towards your investment, working a nine to five with purpose is not working a nine to five. It's working you. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Very true. Very true. Nobody got to follow. <laughs> no, no. DJ had the face. That's why I stopped on purpose because he went like this. Because Brandon, I was like, "Oh, I okay, was about all right, cool." To say something. It's cool. You want you 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 don't have a question, bro. I can talk for days. I got. I don't run out of questions. Okay, I just, no, no, I was making on, sure. let's, let's go here because I wanted to go here. Okay, okay. You go back to the hot seat. All right, no, no, no I want. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I wanted to go here. Okay, if you were in the hot seat, let's go, everybody. If you were in the hot seat, Ooh. how would you conduct the interview with you with, know what with Shan? Shan with Shan? and my he was an asshole. Oh, I want this one. So, you know, all right, first thing I would have done. Shan? Let's let's redo. Let's replay this interview. I'll, right I'll now. do David Shans. No, no, somebody else. Cause you're confident, so you everybody has to go. So okay, uh, somebody else has to be David Shan. You're you're an asshole. All right, so, so I'm Tanny. Hey, you, you want to be David? Done. I'll be David. I guess. All right, you David for the first one. Okay. All right, it's your interview. My golly, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Flipping Tables podcast. I'm your host Tanny, and I have a special guest. We got David Shans in the building. Clap it up for him. Clap it up. Studio applause. Awesome. 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 So, David, really important question I always wanted to ask, and it's a really confidence thing for me. Mm -hmm. How do you walk around with jeans with holes in them? Your holes are this big right now. How do you do it? I feel like you're attacking my apparel. I am <laughs> attacking your apparel, and it's more so jealousy because I wish I could rock it like that. What gave you the confidence to do that? Well, my mom made this beautiful situation, so I just feel like I can flaunt it however you I want. You consider yourself a situation now? Is that what we're doing now? Always. Is that what we're doing situation. on the podcast? How social proof is a situation. That's why you're here. Ooh, tell us about it. Seven figures. How long did it take to get there? You know, you watch the shows. No, you never actually said it on the podcast. Matter of fact, I don't even think you said seven figures. You only say it at these public events. You've never actually said it on the podcast. That's because I don't like telling people how much money I make. You, you know, I'm walking around touching people, you know? You how know? much money have you made? <laughs> walking around touching people, huh? <laughs> we are <laughs> shaking hands. We are here shaking hands, <laughs> but not we with, that. Shaking hands with everybody. With that, I don't think I'll ever stumble because I can take it away in different places to kind of catch them off guard a little bit. But So yeah. your opener was the holes in the jeans? I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Because I could see, because I saw him like this a couple times. Yeah. He was a little uneasy about it. So I would have automatically went for that. Mm. Yeah, just uh, you, so he's you, not like in control of the conversation, you, sort of. You, you feel you feel like you feel like that would be a good angle. Hundred percent. So okay, so we're gonna put this clip up mm -hmm. right now. Uh, David Shan is gonna see it, <laughs> and I want him to know. I want him to get his response to one to ten. Would have responded. Rate it one to ten. One to ten. That 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 take that. If I get less than an eight, put the camera. Put the. Thank you. <laughs> if I get less than an eight, Dave, it's me and you. So. We going. I'm gonna say, don't rate my Dave. Don't rate my, <laughs> no, don't rate my Dave. Rate his Dave too. Rate his Dave <laughs> so in the comments. We officially, I'm gonna say, bro, he attacked your jeans. What did you want me to say after that? So we have things were cut out. Dude. We need to rate Tanny's opener one to ten. One to ten, David Shan, we need you. I'm gonna rate it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> two. No, just, <laughs> just, 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 we should do one more of these. Can I be Dave this time? Oh, uh, who, who wants to Dave, play? Dave, Dave play? and Peter. Dave and Peter. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a new You in the hot seat I'm a new I'm like I'm a new so Dave it's, fan it's, it's perfect though It's perfect though I might say Just based on the things That you And then this is This is perfect right now Okay Because just I gotta sit like you, are, you, you are genuinely new To you know like Social proof they've And everything like that this. they've been doing With the Monday With the um, Monday morning meetups And stuff So Based on what you've seen From you know The videos that I've Personally sent you You know like the Two Liness videos And stuff like that And also from what you've seen In the podcast summit Use that 
in order to. Can you show me being Dave right now? I'm, huh? doing, I'm doing the Dave pose. If you can show me being Dave. <laughs> So no, you, you are terrible. I'm a good Dave. I'm a good Dave. I got it. I got it. So they say call you a uh, director of the year, huh? Wait, am I interviewing you? Interviewing me? Because no, no, you just sat down. You didn't say anything. So I thought I had to start I, the I, interview. I mean, Dave. I do. I do. Can we can we get a start first? I didn't know we started. <laughs> they just started doing it. They was just like, yeah, yeah. You're born. Dave's no mercy. All right, let's uh, go. <laughs> welcome to the Capital Games Podcast, where we have real conversations with real people in real time. Time, 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 time. time, time. We have a very special guest, David Shannon. Building, clap it up, y'all. Clap it up, y'all. here man so Dave what's up man how you feeling how you feeling oh man just glad to be here man glad to be around this energy <laughs> Yo, you know what's fucking me up he's so excited to play David it's disgusting, it's disgusting. <laughs> Like, I saw what he was doing on listen, purpose, listen, and listen. I was cracking yeah. up. He's prepared to do some dumb shit. Like, like, bro, you should have seen him. I'm watching the whole time. He's fucking me up because he's like, he's just looking at me with the face, like I'm going to say the stupidest shit to you. I wish he would. Yeah, I no wish he would excite me. <laughs> Yo, I feel like there's nothing I could have said, bro. He was going to destroy my shit. Bro, he been waiting on this shit. Yo, he, he, got, on this he got him in his pocket, <laughs> ready. <laughs> he ready for you. So the funniest thing is. <laughs> When he was playing the other guy, he still wanted to be Dave. <laughs> so I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what would Dave say to yeah, this? Yeah, I'm not prepared for this shit. Prepared for this shit. I just, I just got a question. I I'm, I'm, not gonna do no, I'm not going to do no intro, but Tanny, uh. if you, if you were, if you were David Shans, and I'm, and I'm answering the question. Oh the question, God. the question would be. <laughs> The Welcome last? to the No Name Podcast. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah. go. Get him in the hot seat. Let's go. Yo, it's your boy Brandon Mack uh, with the No Name Podcast. I'm the host, um, David Shan. How are you doing today? I'm really good, man. Really excited to be here. Really nice. good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, it's a series of questions. What is the last time you got into a fight? Why? Why did you get into a fight? And how did you feel after? I really don't fight like that. Um. Yeah, I'm you just never really been into an argument. I get into arguments, but what was the no. last heated argument you got in, and why? My wife. Your wife? Yeah. What was it about? Uh, I work too much. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give it up, Tanny. He's playing a great team. No, he's just a he's a horrible guest. He's a horrible guest. He's just a horrible guest. That's it. No, that's it. You said it's not you. You doing your job. No. It is not you. It is his ass. It is him. Bro, I'm like, what? Yo, bro. What? But that's the thing that David was doing, right? He was trying to set you up to ask closed-ended questions. When you do that, you're screwed. It has to be open-ended. He was. He was waiting for it. I like to say, but you also have to. You have to realize, like, these are. Like you can't let everybody win because then they think they fucking got it right. Yeah. You got to let motherfuckers fall on their face and realize and like you still the, got room to grow. I understand is, that fuck. shit, Dave. I get it. The thing is, Dave, Tanny, that, that, really good. Really good. I, 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 I'm not going to go. Give me a 10. I didn't go. I didn't go. Wait, 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 wait. But David Shan was getting hot up there as some of these motherfuckers. Bro, I know he's got into it with my I'm about to say, bro. I know he has. You know what I'm saying? So that brother has a different. Level of, <laughs> he got a different level of decorum because the brother in the pink shirt. Good God, I, 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 I got out my seat several times because I couldn't take the goddamn questions. Bro. Uh, I'm just like he oh. was being combative, and then he was he was also uh, it was confusing. He was trying to drag him over the Dorito on, shit. Right. Let him but hold on, bro. Uh, he said you're gonna be vegan. No. I'm like, <laughs> He's trying no, for like two look, days. Bro. Let him but live. Look, I ain't gonna lie though. Being in a hot seat, I don't give a fuck how good we are talking the shit and all that. Being in a hot seat still ain't no it's motherfucking different. lightweight shit. It's true. It's not true. I think I would have fumbled in that joint. I feel like I'm a decent talker, but being in that hot seat, you got the crowd, you got the lights and no, shit. But even then, even then, though, bro. So, so hold on real quick. We so still who? know. Read the fucking room. Right or wrong. Of course. But yeah. it's still the stage, bro. It's still the stage. That was like a safe place. It's the big stage, Like bro. to just keep pushing that so, vegan stuff. But look, we got to salute to the people that did go up there because yes. that I, I didn't raise my big motherfucking up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I swear to God, I want to like constructive like criticism. And if y'all. <laughs> you! Right there, you! 
No, and, and no, for sure. And like this, this go both ways. And I always tell this to my students, anybody who follow me or anybody like who is my elder or any of my peers. Like if you see me doing wrong, correct me, fam. I'm about yeah. to say if you see a place where we can do better in our podcast, please let us know in the comments. Reach out to us, DM, Bing because bang. we like we down for the progression for sure. Like we're not doing this to suck. But you, you know, you know what I appreciated about David Shan though. After every interview, no matter his his commentary or his critique, at the end he said, "Clap it up for everybody." Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did appreciate yeah, I like that. that. I like that. No, I think sometimes you do need to get beat up a little bit, and then he picks you up like, all right, all right. You have to realize this shit not all glitz and glamour, fam. Like you got to show the beauty in the goddamn struggle. I bet they'll never forget. Exactly. And I bet if he just if he just teached it where they would have thought it was sweet. Yeah, exactly. Can't handle it that way. Hundred percent. They would have thought they was the best pie. They would have been out here on tip. Okay. Not for nothing. I like the I like that he did that because you. He was doing it on purpose, right. but what happens when you get that guest who just doesn't know how to answer a fucking question correctly? You know mm. what I mean? They right. have very, True. very low energy. True. You have to bring it huh. out of them. You know, you, I, we, you say I'm about to say, we got episodes like that. We got episodes I'm like that. I'm laughing because he looked yeah. at the couch and I know exactly what he was thinking. Was like, he went like, uh, motherfucker. He does not speak for the rest of the panel here. <laughs> hey, I'm about to say, y'all going to see it. Y'all going to see it because we still going to release it. That huh? episode was funny. All, so, uh, not to put anybody in a hot seat here, but Mr. Your Podcast Sucks. You're now in a hot seat. Oh. And we got Dave Chan in the building. Oh, and we, we want to get the there. podcast rolling. He's in a hot seat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Welcome back, everyone, to another great episode of Capital Gains Podcast. I am one of the hosts, DJ Bay, also known as the Prince of Hemp, one of the founders of Trust Fund Baby. And this is where we have real conversations with real people in real time, 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 time. And we have an illustrious guest here with us today, Mr. David Shands. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, yes, bro, I have several questions for you. First off, appreciate what you're doing. Podcast Summit, first time I've ever seen anything like this. Thank you. Freaking amazing. Thank you. Mwah. Appreciate it. Like, appreciate you know. it. So, what was the thought process for you wanting to start the Podcast Summit? I honestly just wanted an environment. It was a little selfish. I just wanted an environment where I could network with people in my space because I didn't see much of that going around. No, and I respect that. So um, community. Community, definitely. Community. Yeah. So I know that community is big, big, big within your circle. Mm. So please tell me, like, what was the thought process and, you know, like the layout for how you were able to develop your community? Honestly, it started selfishly once again. I Ain't nothing needed, wrong with being selfish, yo. That's how you get your stuff together. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I was like, hey, it pay off. Look at, look at you. Hey, this got to be at least like two hundred racks, my baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, we do okay. We do okay here. But no, it was selfish. I just need an environment where I could, you know, do entrepreneurship and have people support me. It actually started off um, renting out restaurants on the slow days, like Tuesdays and Wednesdays, okay. just be able to get a bunch of people around and actually network and. Do entrepreneurship with them. So that's really where it started from. Do you still have a lot of people in your original community today from, you know, like how long has that been? Mm, some. Some dropped off. Um, got some new people in. Just, you know, it's a revolving door. What is what is a good key that you can give anybody for, you know, like community retention? Like how can I keep people in my community, keep them interested so that I can, you know, like leverage off, you know, like funnels keep on providing them value How consistency can I it's just all consistency you show up every day they expect you every day they'll keep coming so it's the you build it they'll come model 100 percent. or if you keep showing up they'll come model like the summit you built this hey look 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 at this. Thank you. <laughs> hey look at this. Thank you. hey Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we gotta you. keep going because I'm killing this shit, yo. <laughs> oh, I'm really <laughs> killing. Hold on, hold on. That was good. That was good. Okay, okay. okay. So we need David Shan officially to rate DJ <laughs> right now. By the way, you play a fucking phenomenal, hey, DJ, hey, bro. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Like, you thank play you, a phenomenal, you. David. You're, you're a really good David. You, yes. I give it, you're you a good David. That shit. I'm getting into that character shit. too much. Like, no, that's gonna actually, be his Halloween costume. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's for sure. crazy. I am a podiologist, okay? Nothing else. So let's talk about your costume because you came. <laughs> hey, you yo. came to it the is, motherfucking summit. It is not a costume. It's a suit now. Okay, I'm you sorry. You told me it is a suit. You right. specifically actually 100%. told me it's a suit. Yes, put yes, on yes. the suit. When I seen you in the um in the, doc, like in the doctor. Uh, <laughs> 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 so when I seen you in the doctor outfit and it said podologist, right? Mm -hmm. And you are the podologist. I just you know it just spoke to me as a strategic. Uh, um, business plan. And I'm like, yo, that's it. That's your brand. That's what yeah. you got to do. Cause you 
fix podcasts. You bring it to life, just like doctors bring people back to life. You're a surgeon. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just, it just made sense. It was like a funny idea, right? But I didn't realize, well, I mean, now that you said it out loud, it made all the sense in the world, right? But I didn't even see it as like a long-term marketing plan right. until I heard you and shout out to Daydreams. Uh, come up with the idea like, yo, you could actually run this play. And I was like, yeah, that makes all the sense. I couldn't think of one reason why that wouldn't be a good idea is how I know it was a good idea. 100%. Yeah. And, and every, literally you got stopped by almost everybody. It was almost to the point where I almost changed. I, it was a couple times, <laughs> especially when we walked down, uh, what was it, outside during Bayside? <laughs> yeah. I got a couple really googly eyes. I'm like, all right, this is getting really uncomfortable. I and it was told hot. you. I'm about to say that boy walking around got like a check. Look like he just came fresh out of <laughs> surgery. <laughs> what, what's, what's, a, what, what's above a cougar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, speaking Bro. of cougars, hey, hey David, hey, 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 you brought them out. And the aunties were out there. The level right above a cougar, they was hollering at ten. Are you a real doctor? <laughs> I, I, I just, I just have oh, to no. know. The, my, I got favorite, my favorite one, my favorite one was, uh, did you just come here from getting off work? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, and then somebody, and then somebody close by justified it was like, I have actually seen that. Yo, so look, I'm like, like, so, so, I so, so true. I right, remember, remember that? Bro, I referred to Tanny to buy somebody random. I was like, no, I'm gonna go get the podologist to get the mic. The doctor? <laughs> <laughs> so many people was like, I meant to talk to you yesterday, but I thought you had to go back or it. I'm like, oh, well, it's not that. I'm like, yeah, yo, no, like, he a part he's late for like, I'm he's like, late for I'm like how, how slow is saving lives that you can full time podcast, bro? Here, <laughs> no, nah, it, it was cool though, in the fact that I think we attracted a lot of attention without even doing much the right way. Y'all had 20 chains on, so you already attracted <laughs> attention. This guy's getting folders thrown at him randomly in the street that was and getting candy sold to him every five minutes. <laughs> hey, um, if, it, if, if, that, if that's cold word for beautiful women walking up to me, I'll take that. <laughs> crazy woman. We you forgot that part, though. No, she was guy, definitely no, no, followed us and shit. I'm not, we're not going to talk about no, no, it. It no, got no, real no, weird. No, he, he'll never see this. So, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not okay. Yeah, if, if he does, just know I got 16 reasons why he should shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, no, wait, you got to explain that story, uh, DJ. You got to explain that story. <laughs> oh my God. So. <laughs> you talking about the folder guy? The folder no, guy. No, no, no. So are we doing the folder guy or are we doing the last? Are we doing the walk down with the. Let's talk mm. about the energy you've been attracting lately. You have that is, <laughs> that is a common thing in my life. And like I say it all the time. I'll be like, yo, the universe be gifting me with these, like, with these moments. <laughs> because I'm like, I. I don't go out often, so it's like I'm always in the crib. Or, you know, I don't watch too much TV. I'm, I'm pretty, like, I'm a business oriented guy. So when I do get the chance to go out, there's always some extravagant, wild shit that happened right next to me. And I'll be like, thank you. I'm like, as long as I don't get, I don't get harmed, hurt, you know, it'll just be like, mm, thank you for the experience. That dude because was intense, though. Experience. That's, that's, he was that dude, intense. That he dude, walked up to your face with a folder and went, Look, bro, he, threw, he and picked like, it up and left. He, he I was threw like, that folder down in front of you, like he's seen you before, like you again, <laughs> bro. It's <laughs> funny. It damn near felt like he was about to be a street fighter brawl. I'm, 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 I'm pushing day over. I'm like, yo, just step over. You know what's funny? <laughs> I'm like, just step me, over. Yo, when that shit happens to us, when me and him are out, we both look at each other like, who's pulling out the gun first? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you got to stop. You, you got to I can't. I can't, I can't say. I can't say he only walked up on DJ. He God walked up on it. me and P when we were walking. Me, P, and Day. Right. Right, 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 we we walking walking, we right. walking I got a phone the- call. Like this is like these two separate areas. Like so, if y'all being out here, like what's the, what's the one spot called? What is it? Bay Bayside. 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 So Bayside versus the International where the podcast summit was. Intercontinental. Inter- Shout out to okay, Intercontinental. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, John Wick. Right? You know, I'm <laughs> on bang bang bang. So <laughs> wait, I think it was called Intercontinental. It was Continental. Yeah. I think it's both Continental. Oh, yeah, right. it was. Yeah. You were yeah. just wrong. Just say you was wrong. <laughs> okay. 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 I was like, wait, was it Intercontinental? Continental too. <laughs> no, it was the Continental. It was just the Continental. Okay, but then, yeah. then we was at the Intercontinental where they host the podcast. Whatever. They walking distance apart from each other and weird people was walking from the, the Bayside. Bay Bayside, yeah. following people up the street. And then me, me being me, the Prince of Hemp, I, I broke away from the group to go to my vehicle and to look for my- the hemp. <laughs> Because and then I, I get a phone. <laughs> I get a phone call, and it was like, "Yo, we're being followed." I'm like, "What? What? What the fuck?" I'm like, "I'm like, where you at?" Where? I look across the street, 
And then it was like, no, 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 it's cool. He got it. I'm like, oh, okay, we solid. I already know what that means. I'm like, I already know what that means. Yo, Miami, though. Yeah, Yo, Miami, different the energy. The energy is crazy. On top of the, like, oh, shout out to the ladies. You know that. <laughs> I, so, I was gonna leave you empty. <laughs> but go, 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 go. I'm about to say I would have added the DM later. You couldn't play me like that. So. <laughs> but <laughs> baby girl, I'm the queen maker. I'm bragging. <laughs> Is that her? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. the biggest thing since sliced bread, <laughs> and I'm the author of the book Forty One Shades of Men. Mmm. Oh, my goodness, y'all hear that? Do we have, Do we have a live wait, copy wait, wait, wait. in so, house? Do we have, we have a live copy? copy? Is, 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 right is, is, Does anyone see the live copy? It's behind you. Hold on. It's behind. Messy up, please. Can I get the camera real quick? No, you can. So <laughs> this book has come out recently. Uh, one of the biggest endorsers for the book is on my right. He'll tell you more about it, but um, he knows the author personally and has got to experience at least five shades of these 41. Uh, okay. well, uh, we, are selling ad space. <laughs> we are selling ad space. So, so, you know what I mean? So apparently, click the link below. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, apparently, um, shout out, shout out to Priscilla, and um, the way she introduced. Oh, that. We're on a first day basis now. <laughs> oh, Priscilla! I thought her name was Donna. <laughs> <laughs> you mixing women? Don't do that! Oh my God, Donna is. Hey, bro, shout out to shout out Donna shout out to Donna. Donna shout out to Donna. Donna is the one who from Black Ink. Well, oh, I was fortunate okay. enough to, I was enough to meet Donna. This I'm is sorry. this is not Donna. Okay, I I know who you all are for the record. I so, know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I no, know. but um, no. Apparently, uh, this book is called The Game: Forty One Shades of Men: The Pursuit to Subduing and Use You. So, when the when the young, slightly older than me, beautiful lady walked up on me and she gripped my hand in very intense, like lioness energy, I was just like, so she, she gripped your hand. Did she squeezed your shit or what? Kung Fu grip. <sighs> <laughs> she snatched bro, she soul. walked up on me like gang, 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 gang. I swear, bro. Like y'all, Come y'all, here. y'all just heard the audio, but it was um like her energy, and I told her when like when she walked up on me, and I, it was like real ball shit, and like I had How, I what? had no choice but to do it, but respect it, like look in her eyes, and I'm like, yo, you got real interesting energy, and like she introduced herself and what it was, she what she what did she do? Her brand, she showed me her book. She was like super professional, but I'm just like, God damn. So when you say interesting energy, what was that interesting? She, she know what I meant. That's what. That's all that matters. <laughs> hey, shout out to the so out there. I, mean. I feel like you're living. You're like you're 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 paraphrasing the whole conversation a bit. What exactly did she say when she walked up? Peter, to can you? you pay the audio? Again? <laughs> <laughs> She said she's the biggest I, thing since sliced bread. I want to hear. Is, we got to hear that one more time because I can't. I can't say it the way she yeah, said yeah. it. I'm Priscilla the Queen Maker. I'm dragging everybody on the internet right now. Oh, I'm the biggest thing since sliced bread. And I'm the author of the book 41 Shades of Men. Pause, pause, pause. And, but, 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 but she, she also said, like said she also said she dragging. She makes a mean sweet potato pie. I swear. <laughs> she put a foot in that mouth. I swear to fuck Bro, it. Bro, I'm about to say, <laughs> don't cook for me. I'm trying to tell you. P already know. Like, food. <laughs> That's the best way to be my motherfucker. Friend. You know, he, he probably got a million <laughs> reasons why you shouldn't be vegan. You got Priscilla in the kitchen <laughs> baking right now. He's Mr. Frugalstein, but it's methods like that that are getting him to spend some change. <laughs> you feel me? Man, I'm just. He said, I'm fortunate. <laughs> Yo, once again, David, thank you for the podcast, son. I'm hey, telling you, I had a spectacular fucking time. Oh, shout out to Spectacular, fam. Yo, he was out there too, yo. I thought I seen his ass. Yeah, yeah shout bro. out to bro. He was the, he was the little, little one, right? guy. Dog. Whoa, whoa. Bro. I'm not, no, I'm, not in the bad I'm, way. I'm not going to do one. that. Is there, spectacular. Okay, he was a really big guy. He was no, a really big spectacular guy. Spectacular is Tell the my, wait, Spectacular wait, 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 wait. is the Miami legend. From Pretty Ricky. You okay, first of all, the fact that you guys took offense. This is a little guy. Who's, no, also, <laughs> who's also very well known for marketing and scaling brands. This is very he's so definitely a genius when it comes to marketing. And also, I, like said, I said nothing it, about that out, aspect. You shout out to bro. Guy. So you guys, oh, I see. You guys are defining it as a bad thing. I'm asking. He's a little. Also, he, you see like every picture. It's like this perspective because to an ant, he's huge, bro. True. To an Tanny, he is Tanny's huge. also like six everyone five. Else. No, Tanny's also like six five. To his defense, so I'm for just saying. I only stepped on him statement. twice, and now I'm just saying. Is this the little guy? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. I'm sure he's a great guy. We're gonna I'm sure he's a great guy. This is the first clip we're going keeping. Out. <laughs> so we gonna edit today. We editing today. We never edit. Podcast specials producer Podologist steps on breaking news. I'm gonna say, Pretty Ricky. I'm gonna say, bro. No. 
I might say, and then Spec got roots in the D, bro. So you know, like you crossing lines, bro. I can't. You called him Spec. First of all, I that said all like, I said wait, was, wait, "Is wait. he the little guy?" Wait, Spec. And you called him, call him Spec, bro. You so, have to call him Spec. <laughs> After all that, you called him Spec. You don't Everybody see the irony in that. Calls him that when, but you, you can't. Like, follow but I can't call him the no, little guy. But you call him Spec. spec after you call I'm him not the entertaining guy. you no <laughs> fucking more. Back to the podcast. I mean, so back, back on Capital Games. So once again, we actually were fortunate enough, and you know, Dave, Dave set it up to where he had to, everybody had the hotels and everything. We had met some brothers from the A, and like they dropped some fire music. We was able to actually, I honestly like a lot of y'all music from Atlanta. Like y'all. Like I don't like Detroit music. I say it on like you don't like, I, you like, don't like Big Sean. You don't like Detroit music. Boy. You don't like Big Sean. I like Sada Baby. Who? Skilla Baby. Skilla Baby. Yeah. So how do you? I, I, that's a whole conversation in itself. Because I'm right, like, yeah, how do you yeah, come yeah. up with a, a Sada Baby and a Skilla Baby? Are they homies? Or are they beefing? They are cool, fam. They be on oh. tracks together. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't. Bro, I'm, I'm about to say hip hop. Bro. I'm about to say it's it's Detroit hip hop. I am. It's, I'm about to say it's culture stuff. Like how y'all got y'all locals and stuff. But you know, it's like and it's all it's crazy because when I look at podcasting, it it is very similar to like the rap game, bro. It is. Yeah. I'm like you got like your local podcasters, then you got your big ones. Yeah. Wait, DJ ain't Royce from Detroit? Yeah. Royce, Royce you don't like Royce? And you're talking about Skilla Baby? Like, Yo, why you look at he so said so Skilla so Baby. Sad. He said well, Skilla. Bro, you he like D4L, L, nigga? What? D4L is from Atlanta. You mean D12? Homie? D12. Oh, you were D12. wrong. You were wrong. Was, oh, okay. Get it. Oh, touche. <laughs> touche. They, D4L is the Laffy's the Laffy's Laffy Tappy, nigga. They are not from the D. They're from the A. D12 is what I mean. Shout out to Fabo. Yo, but you know, Atlanta, you know, Dave and them is doing it big in Atlanta. Actually, we have to take a trip to Atlanta because we have several people who are looking for us to come out there. No, that's great. I won't be going. Um I will be sending a postcard. He's not playing that game, bro. Let's hop on Riverside real quick. I'm Bro, I don't know what it is. So you heard it on Capital Games podcast. Um, It will have to be a virtual, apparently. (laughs) No, you know what? Atlanta's cool. Um, What's wrong with Atlanta? No, I will go in like Have you been lately? Have you been lately? Bro, I've never been. Oh, okay. I've never been in Atlanta. This is just what I've. Mind you, I used to live in uh, Smyrna, Georgia. Mm. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Uh, <laughs> I stayed. I, I lived there for like a fucking month or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, you guys did a month. Uh, no, actually, no. I'm lying. Said, I'm I gotta lying. go. I'm shit. lying. I lived yes. with somebody for like six months. Okay. And then I got my own place for a month, and then I moved to New Orleans right away. But you said right away. Yeah, but, I mean, it was an opportunity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I worked Boy, with Snoop Dogg. Got there and was like, how, "What? First of all, wait. I'm sorry. You worked with who? Snoop Dogg. You just like, say it's so subtle sometimes that it well, still shocks me. I mean, no. I'm, I mean, I do a lot of music videos, bro, for a lot yeah, of people. No, I just you know hung out with Snoop, but anyway, so yeah, I had I breakfast and it's like, wait, to what? Smoke with Snoop Dogg, and that was a legendary moment. Um, so, and, and granted, it's not like he passed me the blunt. But we smoke blunts together. You get what I'm saying? Like, hey, you're fucking he don't, he does funny not dog it. as a smoker. <laughs> Wait, you <laughs> smoked adjacently he like, to Snoop Dogg? He was like, he like, didn't pass me the L, but I was, we, we was in, we we was was in the wheels in the box. We were sharing we the smoke in the air. Like, we was, we, it was the same smoke in the room. <laughs> but, but, but That's like, legendary. I fuck with it, bro. When you smoke with Snoop, he does not pass his shit to nobody. He don't pass his own. He don't pass it. Listen, bro, number one, there's never not a blunt in his hand. Got a right. rotation. There's no matter what he's doing in life, I've never not seen the blunt in his hand. Never. So, so, so how can he pass it if he if so he goes? So, okay. So, back to the original question: What was wrong with Atlanta? Um, it's just you know, man. From, First from, off, know, before from, before you say this <laughs> disclaimer. All of our Atlanta podcasters, yo, we fuck with y'all. No, Don't take and, this and hard. I, I fuck with people <laughs> from fuck. Atlanta, but. You know, when I go to Atlanta, I, I mean, you get bombarded with. First of all, the traffic is disgusting. Water boys, you know what I'm saying? The water boys <laughs> is a whole different. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> like, it, 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 yo, bro, I I went to the oh man, the malls the is looking. So the water boys is the thing. The malls are confusing. The water boys are real. No, thing. you know what malls? Are is fun? You know where thing. the malls are confusing? Chicago. The motherfuckers will walk around and fix your hat. Security will fix your fucking hat. What do you mean? What do you mean, mean by that? Like you can't you know you can't wear your hat a certain way and shit. Chicago. What? Is that G- a thing? Gang gang. Gang gang. gang, gang. gang, gang. <laughs> they will literally come touch your hat. No, like they'll tell you to fix your hat. Like mm-hmm. you gotta wear it straight. You wear it to one side, you this, you wear it to the other side, you this. At a mall? At a mall. That's what I heard. I just gave you a good face. 
I just, I just made it. I just made it. I just gave you the face with the thumbnail. Give, give me the thumbnail again. <laughs> hey, the takeaway. The takeaway. Make sure you got some good ass thumbnails. That's a fact. It's going to be pointing at the hat. Oh, funny face. Funny face time. Good takeaway. Good takeaway. <laughs> also, I'm about to say review time. I'm, those are excellent takeaways. Do the day face. I'm starting to think you want you to be are like a real like, good like, NPC like, right now. Oh, dude, I study. I study like crazy. That's yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, Started into a day. side. Can you do it again? Can you do it again one more time? I don't even need to do it. I'm, I'm on demand now. Like, come on, bro. Social Play proof. NPC. Social NPC proof. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Social proof. All right. I'm That's just, I'm fed up with your <laughs> shit face, right, dog? I was like, he don't be saying it, but he be like, Mm-hmm. I probably just dropped to a nah, two now. Nah, but you know, um, for for me, not you know, and y'all y'all been knowing uh, David Shan's brand a lot longer than me, but I still want to give him his flowers, man, because I was invited to an amazing, incredible uh, event in a moment in time where mm. I don't think it's any other place in the world that I'd rather have been in that moment. I think he undercharged right. for that event too, if I'm being honest. Just about the value, because I've been to a bunch of events, and I'm sure so have y'all, but the amount of value that we got in two days, as opposed to most events, I know we kind of alluded to it a little bit. A lot not of them but, do have not flaws. No, I'm about to say, remember, in retrospect, that is a that is a perspective thing because I literally heard an elder say, I damn near want to tell David I want my hundred back. I didn't see the value. Oh, he definitely Wait, wait, wait. Someone shit. said that? We got a VIP. The VIP. He was, was a like, VIP and he yeah. was like, he was like, he didn't get shit out of that. No, wait, no, see, no, no, no. He said we, he enjoyed we're the not ex- saying that. No, so yeah, 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 I got perspective you. Thing. No, he yeah, said yeah, he enjoyed the experience, but he said there was no difference between the, the, general, the general and the, and the, general the VIP. VIP. I'm about uh, to say, David, okay. just so if you do see this, make sure we get VIP all <laughs> access, nigga. If, if you make this, if you make it like that, bro, just like. Just let me know if you you need us to speak. What I got you. I'm just like look out on the path. Remember these faces. Shit. For sure. I'm like, shit. Look at the he over here telling you to how you telling you to hike up the price, goddamn. He said you ain't. He said tomorrow's price, not today. Oh no no. He, I mean, as far as value, I definitely could have seen him um, hike up the prices even more. But no, it was it was no, great and, value and for. And him. like you said, honestly, I, I get what uh, I get what homie. I understand what he was saying, but what I honestly, if I would have paid the VIP mm-hmm. right. I would have st- what? No, finish that because it goes. It, it, okay. I got a so quote to I, piggyback. I would have still um, paid whatever the price was because I. I mean, I went to the Grand Cardone's event, right? The tickets were starting at five thousand, um, and the tickets we got were ten thousand, right? Yeah. And when I tell you, and, and, and granted, I got motivated by that event, right? But I don't want to pay money to events to be motivated. Mm-hmm. I want to actually soak up gems that I can take on and apply right away. Right. And I'll say after every day that I was here, I applied my shit right away and got real results we right away. We were sitting there mm-hmm. doing it mm-hmm. during the summit okay. on the computer. So in real time, 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 to, time, go time, with, time to go time. to go to go with that. Who was it? One of the speakers said, "Luxury is the new premium." Yeah. Yep. And premium is the new normal. Right? Was that what? No, the, the, premium the, 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 is exclusive. It, it's, oh, it's exclusive, exclusive. It's exclusive and premium were the two words. There we go. There and I was. believe you are talking Cause, about cause Ash P, Cash. P, you actually, you actually uh, quoted. I believe that, that was Instagram. Ash Cash, right? It was Ash Cash. Like Ash, it was yeah. Ash, Cash. Ash Cash. Big Ash shout outs to Ash Cash. If you're watching this, player. Yo, big shout out to my photographic memory, goddamn. Because <clears throat> I, I told you I smoke a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's right though. Right? No, no, one hundred percent. So, I mean, so basically, it sounds like what you guys are saying. Like, if you, if we're, if it's not even an if. When you do this, exclusive event, is the new luxury. Premium is the new standard. There we go. Mm. That's what it is. So when I, when you're making this event, the next one. You have to separate, you have to have a clear difference between the VIP and the general. Right. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is what you're going to get. Right. And nobody else is going to have what, access. Was this the first summit, though? This, yeah. this is the first one. So we, we, we that's, do that's, have to, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we do have this to give credit to forward. this is the first summit. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This shit was spectacular for no, a fucking 100%, first round. 100%. 100%. I've seen motherfuckers fumble the bag time and time again for I'm, and I'm, I understand the stress and all. Like, yo. Yeah. Live events are no joke. And you know, when you it's throw true. these events, when you are the host, you are the hardest working motherfucker there, bro. You're not sitting still. People are coming to get your attention. There David, again, one, thing I, one thing I will to piggyback off that, David didn't sit down not once. And the, oh. time, the only times he did sit down that I seen is when he was talking to somebody, interviewing them or getting interviewed during the hot seat or bringing out somebody and sitting down with those guests. You know what I mean? Other than that, I I felt like I I don't know how many outfit changes he had. 
Uh, and, and he was in and, and the first day he was in both rooms speaking and answering questions with everybody. Also, I do have to give him credit for his lineup. He the first was day lineup. was fucking amazing. No, I mean, I was amazing. The second day was nuts. The, the first day, the first, I, the day, first day was, was like informative. Yeah. Like, like, what, what did you, you know, Pete? You know, I'm a nerd. Pete, like, you said it. Was you said it when you go me. to when you go to a, an event like that of uh, uh, of that nature. You you want to get the meat and the potatoes. You don't want to be motivated. You got the motivation. That's why you're here. Right. You want you want. Can I walk away with something that I didn't have coming into this? Right. And I feel that first the first well, day. If I would have left, if things, something if something would have happened. After Mario went up and then Ash cashed and then I had to leave, I would have been like, yo, worth it. Just and that's, that's only two speakers. I got you. I want to say you it's even mean? though. I want to say it's pretty even just because, yes, you're right, right, with Ash Cash and uh, the guy before. Mario, but Mario. CJ today, though, my oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, what my CJ God. did, I man. About, yeah. Big shot. Big shot. CJ. CJ. Probably my favorite fucking speaker. I think so, too. And you know what? It wasn't even just what he was saying. It's just how His he delivery. articulates himself. His delivery, dude, a best Mexican. delivery by far by you know anyone why? that spoke there. You know why? It was, it was easy for everyone there to digest. It was practical. It was practical. You, he, he explained it so that eight-year-old who was asking Dave the, uh, David the questions, he could understand. Dude, it. he brought an eight-year-old before yeah. to tell jokes and led that little kid right, to right, be able to deliver time. it on time. I, 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 that that, that guy was on point. That's 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 yeah, that's he that's had him. He was like, whoa, what do you mean? What has that? Like, he was the entire thing. You better laugh. It's my son. Like, you know what I mean? Do you guys remember the jokes? Yes. I remember the jokes. What? remember the jokes. What? the paper cross? How much does it cost to swim with a shark? An arm and a leg. And what was the second and, one? What was what was it? Oh, what's the price? What's the price to pay? Got stuck in the crack. crack. Got stuck in the crack. <laughs> that was he was that was great, man. No, so, that delivery quick, was before, legendary. Before we end, right? I, I want to, you know, I, I feel like we got to give him something back. And the thing I think we can give back is our honest um, one way that coming again, he can improve the next summit. You know what I'm saying? Given given a critique of what what's something that you felt as though either was missing or that he can improve on in the next one? Uh, I guess I will go first. Maybe have an informal event happen at night where people can connect. Because I feel like a lot of people were lost. Like, where do we go now? Where do we go now? There was a lot of energy carrying on from there. Something like a mix. But people didn't know. Exactly. People didn't know where to go. So a lot of people were scattered. Yeah. A lot of people didn't even know where to go eat. Really go eat or go meet up. So it was a lot of just scattered energy when um, one of the guys that we actually saw when you guys were shooting the podcast, he was yeah. he actually just put in the group chat, hey, we should just meet up here. You got a bunch of people together. Yeah. But yeah, if we would have had that ahead of time, I think that would have just carried on the momentum more. To, and piggy, to piggyback off what you're saying, you're right. It, everybody was confused. Even the first day, nobody even shot in the booth because I feel like everybody was just trying to figure it out. Who's what who, it was. Who's what. Yeah. But I feel like one of, the, one of the biggest things besides that to, associated with that is normally when I go to certain um, summits and, and certain conventions, there's times where you can have a... a almost like a speed networking, mm. right? You know, speed where you can just meet um, people real fast and you get their name. Like we know how to network, but not everybody has the, the, er, some people are introverts, right? Some, some people, people got to get pushed. To some, and, but some people are by themselves that nobody to push them. Mm. So I feel like if you have a, a forceful way to, for people just to, to mingle and meet, yeah. it, it would just, it would just the help. The how he did the exercise when it was pretty much downtime when they were waiting for the setup, you know, he was like, you know, like, um, pass your phone or either, you know, that was CJ. No, 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 no. CJ hit him with that I switch know, phone. No, but David also said, touch the person. No, he did. Yes. But, but, but that's not enough. I'm talking about like, there has to I be. I understand a, what you're saying. Yeah. He's talking but like a game or those, something. But those are still same those are engaging exercises but you, you're sure. talking about on a larger scale with everybody involved 100 percent, almost 100%. like how you're talking about like a speed dating kind of thing no, no, like yeah right um, switch speed networking switch, switch yeah 100 percent. i've i love speed networking when they throw them in events because you don't know who you're going to come across it forces you to have conversation it forces you to get out your comfort zone and a lot of times when they do speed networking on the first night the next day is way better because oh that's this guy remember i met him and mm. you know what I mean? remember i met but that see, it can be set up in a podcast format to where they can interview each other quickly and then make sure that that's the dope. End, they give that's dope you have like little that's oh that's dope. a good idea i'm not mad at that dave if you don't know i really do this business stuff <laughs> <laughs> So if he had like a timer, like a two minute timer, you had to go in and just, I kind of like that. That's dope. Yeah. Do your quick interview and make sure you leave your tags. That way people can grab your social media before you move to the next. I feel like there's a lot you can really do with the podcasting theme in that space for networking. 
What you think? What you think? What you think? Be over there. What, what you got for us? Oh shit! Um, he was not expecting. Yeah, it. I wasn't. You're in the hot seat, buddy. You're in the hot seat. seat. Um, what? How? How can you improve on it? Um, what is that? The app. The app. The application. Oh, oh that'd be good. Oh yeah, I didn't have access to that. It said yeah. you needed like a user, gen, like a yeah, the user code or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't know if we was putting on the one that Tandy provided or not. Um, I didn't use the app for anything. So yeah, I, I didn't use the app you. at all. Yeah, I was. So just, they had this beautiful app and uh -huh. and it looked great and everything, but we weren't really able to use it. Maybe roll it out sooner. Yeah, um, or right. how to tutorial on how to use it or something. Yeah, like, right. Because it came kind of last minute. Right. Um, where you if, at? Where if, you if, at? If, hey, where if, you at? If, if I can, if I can say a little bit. Uh, what what you should do next year? It'll probably get a little bit uh, some more speakers. You know what I mean? A little, uh, with a little bit more diverse background. Uh, one thing that I noticed was that a lot of podcasts, they, whether they were speaking from the audience or they were going up there, is financial based. You know what I mean? Which is cool, mm. and I get it. But there's also there's all type of all kinds of podcasts out there. I'm about to say, that, who was finance based? I was about to say it was a mix, though. No, no? I'm about to say who was finance based. He had, he had two, it was a lot of them. He had two white girls up there. He had two white girls. No, 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 because I, I'm like, um, I only know one person who was finance based, and I don't even know if they actually have a functioning podcast right now. Mm -hmm. They're just a speaker. No, I, I get you. They were all more like, a, I, you were saying it was credit, it was finance, it was real estate, it was yeah, right. It's, I guess it's just, you said a because, lot of people there because was a lot of CJ people. because CJ did not do any of that. He got into it after he deals in motivational speaking. And then the other girl, the other young lady from the previous day who talked to us about the subscription base, she's 100% podcaster. She's doing education. That's why I'm like, who is a finance person? I think, because I do feel like there was a good level of diversity out there. I think what he's trying to say is you're talking about genres, right? Just yeah, more diversity right. in the genres. Right. Like yeah. whether it's like, um, what do you call it? True crimes or whatever it is. Like literally going you. out I, there oh, and yeah. trying different yeah, genres. I, I think that's, that's yeah. what he's trying to say. Yeah. That's people what, from like entertainment. Exactly. Right, right. right. I guess yeah. that's like, those so. guys out Like there. sports, like people who are just right. sports That's what I mean. A little bit more diverse categories. Categories. Yes, because there are people who want to grow these type of podcasts right. and they may have not seen anybody in those they might feel like they only stuck you know, with finance technically valid speaking point, and, and one thing I don't think uh, they really brought up but is there's so many different categories categories that nobody even talks about but they're very niche like let's say mm. uh, trading cards right or or mm. like items like you know baseball cards whatever that's a real thing they have shows on like auctions and shit like that so there's right like I like the other day I have I have uh, one of my close friends he he go, he, he comes at me and he's like hey uh, I, I want to start a podcast man me and my boys we got this idea and I'm like well, what, what, what's the idea it was like we want to talk about shoes and sneakers and video games and stuff like that and I'm just like bro you you know what when it's about boy shit yeah <laughs> I, 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 no but it's not bullshit i mean i said boy shit oh boy shit like yeah, i yeah. got young i got you know i got like 11 year olds and stuff bro like, right right, you right, like, right. That shit my young, but, but, my young but, boy. but the gaming the gaming industry is it's huge, huge. Yeah. you know and and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and the sneaker industry is huge sneaker, so it, pick one yeah and that's what i told him you got to niche down you know yeah. what i mean you got to figure out who's your audience and who you're talking to but to, that 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 goes in what i'm saying we didn't see that at the podcast summit you know gotcha, what i mean gotcha. nobody's speaking from that realm from the inner more of an entertainment base you know what i mean everybody has their message to, to, to say more than are informative about anything else that's going right. on in the world who's willing to say right now in this panel that they will be a speaker at the next podcast summit yeah i would, I would be a speaker Boom. I mean, i'm not sure. saying yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know i heard weak energy there i don't know that was not confident i just heard I yes would be a speaker at your next next podcast summer next summer he's not even next to the mic man come on man like <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> hey love, hey hey love. that look like that look like a book tag there you go is that how you can ask that? Is, that, is that how you don't can drop ask the mic don't, don't drop the mic don't drop the mic Click the link below. <laughs> See, I just don't do it for me, yo. See, I look out. I look out. Don't drop the mic. Wait, which don't drop the mic? That's my book. Oh, you didn't talk while, about while, that? While, yeah, while, while clenching on to your dreams. While clenching. <laughs> that's the whole look, title. That is the whole title. That so is wait, the punch. So, okay. No, okay. So shout out to Brendan Boyd. Uh, we were sitting here. We was having a, 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 a deep conversation. And, you know, I mentioned my book. And, you know, it's basically how to help people get started with their podcast. And you go, what's the name of the book? And I go, it's called The Podcast Guy. He goes, what's your hook? And I, I, I stuck. He goes, you need a new title. 
He said, he said, it's a good idea, but you need a new title. So I went back to the drawing boards. I spent maybe about 30, 40 minutes, you know, chat GPT in it up. And uh, I came up with the name, uh, Don't Drop the Mic. Mm. And DJ, Wait, you came up with it, or Chat GPT, or a mixture? It was it, it was a mixture. Okay, Chat Chat had gave me suggestions, a, 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 a title, and I was like, I don't like that. But in that title, I seen something. Gotcha. And I was like, that's what it is. Mm. And I and I said it out loud. Don't drop the mic. DJ goes, what? <laughs> don't drop the mic. <laughs> hey, this is what I said verbatim. I was like, that sounds like a real like. Don't um, drop the soap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. like, this sounded yeah. real homosexual and so, and so, wait, wait, wait. so 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 I go, no man, what you talking about? And I I, I go B. He's Brendan said right he's over sitting, there, he's sitting right where you're sitting, P. Here I go B. Ain't no what do you think about? Funny. What do you think about this title? What do you what do you think when you hear it? And I and I tell him, don't drop the mic. He goes. Oh, definitely. Like, you know, jail shit. You know? Don't, drop yeah. the Don't drop the soap. I'm like, Shit. I'm like, see, like, but, but, fucking tell but, me. No, 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 no. But they both gave me the feedback. Like, that is good marketing yes. because that's going to make people go, what the fuck is this? Yes. You know what I mean? And open up the book. And so then we took it a step further with the tagline. Hey, clinching. Can I your give dreams. you the first commercial? And clinching can I, can, because when you drop on. the soap, I, I get it. it. I see what you did. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Give you the commercial. Go oh, ahead. Go okay, for it. First commercial. You ready? Yes. All right. Two guys in the show. No, no, look. <laughs> no, 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 no. This listen, has been another episode. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you're done right. Cut your ass off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you want to make a lot of money with this book? Absolutely. Do you want to sell it? Yes. Do you want to go viral? Yes. Great. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's going to start off with two guys in the show. Right, let's <laughs> hold on. Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Who hear me out. Who the fuck is going to shoot hear me out. this? Just hear me out. Who going to shoot it? Who going to shoot it? One of them's name is Big Joel. What lifestyle we trying to sell? Just hear me out. Just hear me out. What lifestyle we trying to sell? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You're going to take a clip from an already existing movie, right? A clip from an already existing movie. Something that's, you know, one of the movies. Blood in, blood out. Whatever. Okay. The soap on the Listen, listen. Just hear me out. Hold on, Dave. We better than that. Listen. Just hear it out. I'm hearing it. All right. So... You see the soap on the floor, or whatever. Right? Oh, <laughs> you see the guy, the, the name. Why? So they, with the guy, when the, you see the guy's face about to pick up the soap, it says "new podcast" on his head. You know how you put like the theme when it says so "new podcast," <laughs> and then the guy come behind them is the internet. <laughs> and as the soap gets dropped. It, it turns cuts, into it, the mic? No, it cuts it, off and you come on. By the way, don't drop the mic. <laughs> hey, no, but listen, I swear to God, listen, I, you, listen. You've had better ideas, Pete. No, 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 I swear to God, listen. <laughs> this might be it. This might be the this best be one it? ever. <laughs> We're going to the bank. This bay. might be listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. we taking this to the no bank? bullshit. Like, let me just ask you a question. All right, hold on. Mm -hmm. If you've seen one of your movies, right? Uh, the movie that I'm talking about, any movie, and you've seen the two guys in the shower, right? I know I, I'm saying. I'm cutting shit off. I don't have any movies like that. And, and you see it's, it's music behind it, and it says new podcaster. And then a guy comes behind him and says the internet. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That bro. sounds like one of them fucked up European commercials bro. that get banned from TV. Bro, I guarantee you people going to fucking be like, what the fuck is I this? I promise you'll get so much attention. Ten, Please shoot ten, that commercial. Am I, I am with you. You are not ten, tripping. tripping. You are not tripping. I promise you'll sell, you'll sell out that book. Tanny's buying the book. I'm buying the book. I, I will, <laughs> what they I say, will buy create but I will viral buy moments. moments. Oh, that's a moment. P, that's definitely a moment. P, you put together a script. Yeah, that's viral, you know all right. Okay, right. You put now, together a treatment. Hold on, hold on, not okay, a script. Just okay, put together a treatment. We're going to test this out, right? They call me the brand specialist, right? Okay. This is what I do. The content guy. Director of the year, right? Digital billionaire. I, right? I thought I heard somebody else say it was a content I'm going to shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> no they Wait a minute. Wait. We're not, we're not even going to go. Oh, we're not going to go. We're not going to go. No fucking no, airplay right. over here. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no airplay. No, no, no. He ain't getting uh, no airplay over here. And Philly, we call him trash truck juice. But listen. <laughs> you know, juice from the trash. Yeah, right, yeah, right, 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 right. So what I'm saying is we're going to run a lot. We're going to run a live test, right? I'm going to do the video for you. We're going to do, you know, and we're going to see how many impressions you get versus your normal impressions. Okay. I don't think it'd be close. Let's do it. Well, it's just a test. It'll right. be like Let's five it. minutes. It'll be like, no, it's no, no. over. Let's just do a test. Look, look, cause at this point is, 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 uh, uh, uh no, I'm with it. 100%. Now here's the thing. Of course, when it comes, <laughs> when it comes to marketing, right, there's doing the video, then there's the marketing part, putting everything, hey. right? We're just going to do a natural test of his engagement now versus the engagement of the video. Okay. So it's gonna go crazy. no, no real talk, real talk, but also, and then I have to say this when it came to uh, like dealing with P on some things and then like, and not, I don't know, bullshit or anything. It's just like me understanding what it is he do and what it is that my brand and my business needs. I have to be like, fuck it. And I told him, I'm like, I ain't going to argue with you about shit. And I just let him 
take that shit over and it's done every everything. It you know, one of my time. one of my mm. biggest things in, in my meetings with my clients and shit like that is like, yo, you have to say fuck it and let go. Sometimes we hold on to these false narratives that we have to be a certain way or that we're against a certain thing. But my thing is, if it doesn't go against your morals and principles, fuck it, let's roll. I like it. Hit a button for the gentleman, Man, please. Hit a fuck button. It. Oh, Pia, I'm putting my faith in you. Hey man, he's hey, there. Don't he's clinching them dreams. <laughs> and, and once again, that that was this brain. <laughs> <laughs> was it in real time? time? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every I'm just saying, you got to create memorable moments. Um, mm -hmm. Whether it's laughter, whether it's drama. Once you create these moments, people are going to be like, what the fuck is this? Based on another takeaway from the podcast summit, we have several. This is like literally invoke emotion with whatever message you're trying to convey mm. try and make them feel something with that that one minute clip that 10 minute video whatever it is make sure that people can relate to what it is that you're doing make them feel something make them want to buy what it is you offering find so, that attachment so the, mm. when we end this episode i got i, I want to try this uh i want to try this new thing after we end it i want to say something so after you close us out I want to say my line, and I want to see if that if that sticks. Because we remember they talked about consistency, consistency. Yeah. and that brand thing. You I need it, you, you need one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's just try. So I'm about to say because the you know like I'm I like the real time time time. Hey, for no, real, for, no, 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 we no, that. Great. no, 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 that no, 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 no. Yeah, that's great. I have we to say ending. something. I have to say something because for real, for real, that shit that is solely from like me like tanny said something and i watched david shan and i watched him do his intro and shit and then we had we came to come film and then like it was just organic it just happened like that and i was like this is where we have real conversations with real people in real time 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 and i don't feel like that's my i feel like that's capital gains mm -hmm. even though i i said it but like all of us say that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel I me? Like that. But, yeah, it grew on us too. Yeah, but you like, yeah. Everybody still need their personal like consistency tag. Like, I've I've had several. <laughs> That's why I, I need to lock in on one though. But for sure, for sure. Right. But once again, this has been another great episode of Capital Games Podcast. I am one of the hosts, DJ Bay, also known as the Prince of Hemp. And you already know it's Peter Parker, director of the year, and you officially. I fucked it up already. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I'm going to come back to you right, because we go. wasn't done. Because usually I leave everybody else hanging, fam. So we got... Oh, so we're going to come to me last now? Yes, yes, got yes. You. See, I got we you, we working them out. We working them out. I'm about to say, and then like we ain't stopping. We ain't fucking up. We ain't doing no cuts. We going to run this shit. We going to run it. Let's go. I like so, it. I'm going to say, Mr. Mac, can you can you um, let the people know where they can find you at? Oh, yeah. You can find me at It's Brandon Mac. That is... I Wait, is it Brandon Mac or It's Brandon Mac? I was Mac. just about to... I literally was just about <laughs> hey, to spell it out. Hey, I was interruption, about to spell it out. Interruption. Interruption. Back. interruption back. Back. Here we Roll go. with the punches, Look, bro. Uh, Roll with the find, punches. You can find me on... Uh, on <laughs> he ready. He ready. He ready. He ready. You got interruptions. Right interruptions. Right, bro. Look. Hey, bro. I'm learning, all right? Look, I'm about to, I'm about we're, to take off. We got to use everything that we learned. No, interruptions. 100%. Come on, B. Come on, B. Come on, B. You find me on Instagram, ITS Brandon. Brandon Mac. It's Brandon Mac. When did we start also, doing shout outs on the podcast? I'm confused. I Jesus because Christ. You I, can also <laughs> find my book. <laughs> you can also find my book on my website. Don't drop the, mic. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Podcastprotips.com. Don't drop the mic. Okay. Um, Etaniel. Yes, Etaniel over here, board hey, certified podiologist. <laughs> yes, and yes over here we do, accept, we do accept interruptions over here. We ain't scared of them. You can find me on all social media platforms at the podiologist. Take away the the, it's just podiologist. Can, can, you, spell, can you spell that for the people? Yes, podiologist. All right, cool. Back <laughs> <day. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> And you already know it's Peter Parker. See, I thought you were going last. No. Yeah, we well, just went. Motherfucker. All right, that was an interrupt. Did, we're good now. Did go first? We're, no, it was yeah. an interrupt. It so, was an interrupt. Once again, this is where we have real conversations. <laughs> Apparently, people be on bullshit sometimes. But we're real people <laughs> in real time 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 time, 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 time. And this is my co host, Peter Parker, CEO of Director of the Year. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. I push the mic away. I push the mic away and everything. Before we end, before we end, you know what you say, Peter Parker, director of the year. That, that, is, that, your that is your tag. That is your tag. That is, you like, like, uh, of course, that's your title. But right. that becomes your. You say that every time. Right, so look, how, if you so, just came out and was just like, "Yo, it's your boy Peter Parker." No, I got it's you. not the same as if he was like Peter Parker, so, director of the year. I, you know what I love though? I love the tagline "There's beauty in the struggle." So my idea, and it could be, I don't know. 
I was just going to say, and now you, now you have witnessed there's beauty in a motherfucking struggle and then cut it. Nah, that, you I think, like it. You I think like it's it. good to cuss no, like that? I like it. That ain't it. I like no. it. What about the children? You just gonna cuss like bro, that? Bro, if you can say it's Beauty Monday, <laughs> if he can say it's Monday, I think you can do that one. He got away. It's Monday, ET. Eventually, it became a thing. People were screaming in the airport. Bro, I'm about to say best advice I can give you to give you about that. Like, let it be organic. Yeah, that way you can love it. Bro. I say do it. Just do the it. first time he just did, let it happen. Make them and love whatever, it. whatever. Make them love love it. Shit. Do it so much that they start repeating it and be like, "I told you." But I told you. <laughs> I'm gonna say shit. Try it out. Mom. Try like try a couple out. The one you really like. Uh, I'm gonna say we, we can run a couple. We, we, we gonna we gonna do a vote on my on my Instagram. We gonna do a vote <laughs> and see if people fuck with it. You, say it again. Say it clear. Well, I feel like I'm on the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> you closing it out. You closing it out. You closing okay. it out. There you Peter go. Parker, director of the air, CEO of Digital Billionaires, and you have officially witnessed his beauty in the motherfucking struggle. I like it. <laughs> now you got to you know, keep that energy all the time. And yeah. we out. Yes. <laughs> that was Capital Game.